What's going on, everybody? It's the Flying Pig here on Flying Pig United with another cheeky little stream for you lads and lasses. The calm before the storm. Here we are for the watch along. Manchester United versus the Liverpools. Uh, Old Trafford, my son in the Premier League. Fucking come on, United. Uh, how are we all doing today? Thank you very much for waiting for us to get going here, guys. We are here about 15 minutes before kickoff. So, uh, you know, sorry to keep you guys waiting. But uh, if you don't expect to be waiting a couple of minutes uh, by now, then there's something wrong with you. But welcome in. <laughs> Hello to you all. What's going on, Kieran? Must play. Gary Aitken, Will Chapo, Matt the Cat, Fanny Lancer, PJ, Darren Walton, Madhouse, Jan. Yes, indeed. Susan Knowlton, Hardcore Gamer, Vlad, PJ, Nick the Greek. Yes, paper plates and plastic cups. Good, good shout. James Taylor, Kenneth Kernan, hello to your normal guy, Kingslayer, Ryan Moore's whip, Neil Duffin, you big legend, let's go, hope you're good, Zane Farley, Andy, Simon Gumbrell, let's go, Fracture, I'm here mate, don't worry, don't worry, we're here, we're here, Gungshi, hello you legend, what's happening my son, and the mustard getting in here, a couple of the moderating long time legends of the channel, Matt Batmouse, David Hills, the Butcher of Manchester, Dave Keating, hello to you, Duke of Rodtown, Barbara Fay, everybody who's in here, Kingslayer, Ollie, Hansy, Meeks, everybody who's in here, welcome into you all, thank you for joining us for the stream guys, appreciate you all for getting in before kickoff here. Um, we're here for the big one guys, it is a big one, United versus Liverpool, obviously we've done them in the FA Cup quarterfinals, they've got a little bit of revenge on their mind right now. Man United in the hunt for top four or top five, whatever. Obviously, we're melting in that hunt. And we're looking for big three points today in order to boost us there in regard to that. Even then, it's still very unlikely. Liverpool, on the other hand, Liverpool are looking, obviously, for the three points here to try and challenge for the Premier League title in Floppy Cloppy's last season at the club. So make no bones about it. These twats are going to be on it today. No, this is going to be a difficult game for United. It is at the best of times. But because of those reasons, the fact that they're looking for a reaction after the last United-Liverpool game, and just the fact that they are actually in the tussle for the top top spot in the league, means this is going to be a shitter of a game. But you know what? Okay, we are a little bit on the gash side of things. We were pissed poor against, against Brentford. We did bottle it in the last few minutes against Chelsea. But this is a Manchester United-Liverpool game. And when it's Manchester United versus Liverpool, I think the FA Cup quarterfinal sort of proved it. Anything could happen, my friends, and we can smash up these Scalzieri's, my son. Come on! So let's get a hashtag I believe in there at the start of this show. Um, if you believe that United can get the win today. Now, I do believe we can get the win today, but my prediction for the game is not a win. It's a draw. I think it's going to finish one all. I think it'll be a full-blooded affair. Look, I'm a little bit concerned about United's defence, mate. We've got Camboala coming in there. He's a kid, and he's next to Slabo Maguire, who, well... He might as well be an old man in terms of his ability. So, you know, it's not the strongest looking side today in terms of like the quality we've got out there. But even so, let's get your score predictions in there then. Gungshi says 3-2. Go on then, Gungshi. Love that. 3-2 to United. Love that positivity. Come on. 3-2's a good... We'll take any win, to be fair, but that would be a great result, wouldn't it? 2-2 two -two says PJ. Uh, you agree with 1-1, one -one, do you there, boss? Hang on, where's the old comments gone here now? Oh, where have they gone, mate? Hello. Hang on, let me... Let me find him again. Uh, but you think 1-1 one, one is the one. Oh, here it is. Yep, you think 1-1. 2-1 one, 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 Liverpool, says Susan. 3-1 to, to, to United, says Neil Duffin. Hoyland to score. Hoyland's had a bit of a quiet spell lately, hasn't he? He does need a goal, this lad. He's had a good season overall, considering how shite United have been and the fact it's his first season. He was a kid when he arrived. But he has looked a little bit quiet last few games. It would be nice for him to get on the score sheet today. Can't lie, no. Prane says 3-0. Zane's going 2-2. Two, two. <clears throat> Not a man manager. Uh, Neil, so Ajax getting absolutely drubbed up over in the Netherlands right now, are they? Oh, my God. I mean, I think maybe if Eric Ten Hag doesn't last much longer at United, i.e. he gets sacked off in the summer and we replace him with Doris the Tea Lady, I think he's got a place back there at Ajax, doesn't he, mate? Because they need him. They need him over there. Defo. Defo. Ajax are in the shitter. Uh, Scooter says 2-1 to United. Yes, Arsenal flies going 2-1 United. So all these Arsenal scummers in here today actually... You know, they are honorary United fans today. They're looking for us to do them a favour in the hunt for the title. Liverpool are obviously in the super, hunt for the title as well. If we can chat. disrupt them and, and just take a couple of points off of them, it obviously massively helps these Arsenal Holands who are looking good at the moment. So, yeah, Arsenal fans are honorary United fans today. Welcome in, you absolute shithouses. But welcome in, though. And as I've said many times, I'd rather you guys won the league than 
Liverpool or City. So I guess that's what we're hoping for at the moment. Um, I mean, not hoping for, but you know what I mean. 2 1 says Kunin Ban. Let's go. Hoping for 5 0. <laughs> Kirill Hansi says. No, no. I mean, on paper, right, United's team is, is is suspect, particularly that back line, which means that you'd expect Liverpool to get goals today. I mean, I know I've said 1-1, one, one, but part of me is a little bit concerned we're going to get turned over again. It could be a bloody another 7 0 But um, I'm just trying to remain optimistic at this moment in time. Um, United have been shite last couple of sort of performances we've seen. However, there has been goals in our team, even when we've looked guff. There's been goals in our team, so I expect us to score today. And because it is United-Liverpool, I expect them to turn up today. United have this sort of mentality flaw where we're coming up against lesser opposition and we sort of tend to struggle. When we come up against the better teams, we seem to turn up more often than not. We just actually get ourselves up for it. It's a motivational thing. That's piss poor in itself that these lads can only seem to get themselves up for the games that are big. But I think that is the case at this club. So I am expecting a good performance from United today. 10-0 Liverpool says Mount. 3-1 says Jay. 4-1 says Kingslayer. 3-2 says make the most of it. 4-1 says Kieran. 4 nil loss says Batmash. You think the Scousers will do us? Duke says 3-2. Caden says 7-2. Go on, Daniel. He believes. Right, thanks everyone for getting your score prediction there. Sorry if I missed any of them. And sorry if I missed any of you. But shout out Tommy Boyle, you legend. VAR will pull our pants down again like every other game. Yeah, probably, mate. It's not done us too well this season, has it? The old VAR. It's garbage. I agree. That is, that is always a concern. Seems like they like to hold a grudge against United as well, some of these um, officials. That's what it looks like. Yeah, Paul Warburton says, 320 viewers as soon as the bin dip is called, there'll be 3K in here. Oh my God. We've got 415 legends in here right now. Do us a favour at the start of the stream, guys. Smash that like button on it. Give us a massive thumbs up. Your loins have been tingling all day. Oh, mine too, Gungshi, but I've only been up half an hour, so... <laughs> But yes, uh, smash the like button at the start of the show, guys. Let's see if we can get 400 likes before kickoff. Why not, eh? And also hit the subscribe button down below if you're new. Subscribe to the channel, get yourself involved. You'll be able to chat with us and uh, strap yourselves in for a raw game. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 7-0. Uh, oh, my God. By the way, I've missed a super chat here. Thank you so much for the super chat here. Wait, where has it gone? Mate, who's it by? Who's it from here? we got a super chat. Let's get some soos. In there for the super chatter. It is Luke. Yes, Luke CX, mate. Good to see you today. He says, Hi, Pig and Legends, a.k.a. Johnny Sins looking standing. He says, Hi, Pig and Legends. This is what Sundays are made for. Big derbies and pure, pure flying pig passion. Thank you so much there, Luke CX. I'm trying to remain calm at the moment, Luke. That's what I'm trying to do, boss. I'm just sort of preparing myself for the shit storm that might possibly be ahead of us. I'm trying to remain optimistic. I'm trying to approach this with a positive outlook and think that Manchester United could maybe get the job done. But I guess deep down in my loins, I feel like this is going to be a rough day at the office. But I'm just, I'm just approaching it with an open mind, mate. Hoping that United surprise us and we turn up and we look fucking great. That's what I'm hoping for, lad. Thank you, Luke. Let's go. Yes, mate. Passion merchants. Let's be having you. Thank you so much. Eddie's Football Waffle, yes, mate. How have you been? A long time legend. What's good, mate? How are you? What's your thoughts on the uh, game today? He says, we've got 134 likes. That's decent. 134 likes. That's decent. Keep hitting those likes, guys, before we'll kickoff there. No drill out today, Meeks. Hopefully, we're not going to have to, you know, uh, bring it. You know, hopefully, that's not the case. Would be nice if uh, we didn't have to. <laughs> Our back four has have been decimated. I know. Right. So, let's get into the team lineups then. So five minutes to kick off. Let's see what we're working with here today. Ten Hag has got obviously a bit of a, what's the word? A bit of a barren squad, a bit of a, um, you know, a bit of a makeshift sort of squad at the moment because of the fact that there are a lot of injuries. So you can see here we've got Onana in goal, Wambasaka, Maguire and Cambada with Dallow in the back line. I mean, that's suspect as fuck, isn't it? That is suspect, guys. Cambada is just a kid, really. He's coming in. He has played for us a couple of times this season, but he's inexperienced to say the least and then you've got somebody who is experienced next to him but his experience is in the uh, genre of melting and that is Harold Maguire Harold Maguire his name's not Harold but whatever Harry Maguire next to him is always a major concern let's hope he can have a boss game you know let's hope he can have a boss game Dallow and wan don't have a problem with obviously they've had a fantastic season so far really they're, they're always pretty full-blooded and committed people will slag Dallow for giving away the pen in the last game but I think he was absolutely done dirty by the bastard officials there who obviously cross it Chelsea scummers and don't even get me started on that game mate because I'm still pissed off about that one uh, I still think both of those decisions that they had for penalties were not penalties and we got done dirty raw by those officials in that game 
So, yes, we did crumble at the end there after the pen. That was unacceptable. But I do think the two penalties in themselves were not pens. Anyway, enough about that. We can't live in the past. We've got to look to this game. Casemiro and Maynou in the midfield. Isn't it crazy how Kobe Maynou has just, like, been involved in this side for two minutes, really? And he's already, like, one of our, like, bastions in that midfield. Like, I'm looking at him going, yeah, we're not going to worry about him today, mate. You know, we're talking about Kampala being an experience in the back. Fuck me. Kobe Maynou's already like, I don't know, already like just like a, some sort of beast. He's already, he's already, I don't even think about Kobe Maynou as a kid anymore. He's just like, yeah, he's an established first team player. Go on, Kobe. But Kobe Maynou and Casemiro in the middle there. We've got Garnacho, Bruno Fernandes and Rashford with Hoyland up top. No Anthony Dos Santos. I personally have a little bit of a problem with that. Now, OK, Anthony Dos Santos gave his all in the last game. There were other players on the pitch, though, who obviously gave their all as well, who were playing today. But certainly Anthony Dos Santos looked good in the game. Um, Rashford's come into the game. Rashford subbed on in the last game against Chelsea. And I have to say, Rashford was Gashford again. And there's little clips and videos surfacing on social media that I just miss at the time when the game's on. But you just see, like, somebody's filmed, like, a 20-second clip of him just jogging, like, he should be pressing opposition players down. And he's just jogging around, can't be asked, mate. It's fucking disgusting in a big game like that against Chelsea when you've been brought off the bench, mate, for 30 minutes. For 30 minutes, you should be busting your fucking lungs out, mate. You know, so I've got a real problem with Rashford in this side at this moment in time. I don't think he should be getting selected. But there you go. Um, smash a one in the chat if you think Rashford's a big melt at the moment. <laughs> yes, I honestly, I, I, listen, let me just say this. I've always liked Marcus Rashford off the pitch, right? Up until this season when he's fannying around, not turning up for Get training and there, stuff. But, and on the pitch as well, I've always stuck up for the guy. You know, I'm starting to get sick of this guy, mate. He's, he's, he, you know, you see him not putting in the effort on the pitch. It's one thing to have a bad game, but it's another thing to not be 100% committed. And that's what I'm seeing from the twat lately. Sort your fucking life out, Marcus. We know he can do it, but goodness me, we need him to turn up today, put in a fucking shift, bust his fucking lungs out, and let's put in a performance for the lads. Anyway... Guys, thanks for getting in. Thank you for subscribing there, by the way. Uh, Vasco, e Historia, and Bomb Biscuit. Appreciate you guys. Yes, if you're new, subscribe. Smash the like before kickoff and get yourself involved. Right, let's get going then, guys. The game's about to kick off here. Let's um, let's discuss Liverpool's lineup for a second here. I haven't even mentioned that. So they've got Kwanzaa, Bradley, Kelleher, Van Dyke, Robertson, McAllister, Endo, Schobersly, Diaz, Nunes, and Salah. It's a strong look side from Liverpool. You know, I am worried about the likes of Salah and Nunes and these guys up against young Kambuala because he is a kid and obviously always worried about anybody up against Maguire because he's fucking slow and shy. So that is a big concern. But anyway, that is the team lineups, guys. Give give Eric Ten Hard's selection a, a rating out of 10. I guess he's only can really do what he can do at the moment, uh, particularly that defence. There's so many players missing, out injured or unavailable. It's just like, what can you really do? Yeah, Tommy, West Ham and Newcastle game points last yesterday. If we don't win, exactly, and Chelsea game points last, and they got a game in hand. Um, there would only be a couple of points behind us if they win their game in hand and we lose this game. It's like things could go shockingly bad for Eric Ten Hag if, um, well, it, let's face it, he's on he's on the verge of the sack anyway based on his overall performance this season. Yes, we're in the FA Cup final, but the Premier League campaign's been fucking gash, and the Champions League campaign was unacceptable. Uh, to completely. So, game's about to kick off. Come on, then, United. Let's tear these Liverpool scouts as a new arsehole. Come on. Come on, United. Please. Please, 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 please. Let's smash these mounts up, big styly. Game's about to kick off. Here it is, guys. Time is up in the top right hand corner. Sync up with us if you can. Oh, my God. Feeling a little bit nervy at the start of this one. Now it's actually kicked off. Was trying to remain calm, but oh, my God. We can't be having another 4,000 shots on goal against us. So true there, my friend. No, you're absolutely right. Like, that was unacceptable in the last game. It's been un unacceptable in a lot of games. Yeah, you've seen a lot of uh, teams just having ham amount of chances against us. It's ridiculous. Come on. Hey, thank you, Eddie's Football Waffle. Yes, guys, enjoy the game, you legends. Thank you, Juicy Twat. Appreciate you, lad. Yes, Arsenal fan cheering for you. I bet you, yeah, we've got all the Arsenal scummers on our side today. We do. Arsenal looking decent at the moment. It sickens me to say it, but yeah, I still expect them to ultimately bottle job it because this is Arsenal we're talking about. But they are looking good at the moment. Slabby Maguire in there, my does son. well. Good defending Slabo. Oh, no, he's fallen over. Oh, good stuff. Yep, yeah, nice one, Slabo. So just imagine if Campbell has like an absolute beastly performance at the back today for us. Would be nice. Huge game for the lad. 
Oh, he's just gone offside. You've got to play the earlier ball. Garnacho's through, though. He's going to run the keeper. Put it in the back of the net. But I swear it's offside. It's offside. It's offside. It was miles offside. He needed to just time his run a bit better. But in all honesty, he was looking for the earlier pass. Needed that ball earlier there to, to Garnacho. It's a great bit of... Uh, it's a nice idea by United. It's put in the back of the net. But it's so it's obviously offside before the pass is even played. You know, that's the problem. Yeah, he needed to play that ball way earlier, Bruno Fernandes. Don't know why he's played it so late. Garnacho's made the run for ages. It's it's a nice idea, but it's a late ball by Bruno there. Needs to be earlier. Needs to be earlier. Oh, well. Nice try, though. Nice, light, nice bit of liveliness going on there from United early doors. Good chance, but unfortunately offside. Yeah, hey, Natalia Zamina, how you doing there, you legend -ess? They've given the ball away. It's a chance for United down the left. Bruno Fernandes! Oh, looks to take it beyond the defender, but he is he is um, beaten, and that is going to be a goal kick to Liverpool. Big up, Solitude Guard. Stuart Stormtrooper Waller, yes, mate. Good to see you. High red gold. Sorry if I'm missing anyone in the chat. There's 654 legends in it, but shout out to all you, sir, all you legends getting in here. Yeah, nice one. Uh, ugh, must play. Goodness knows what Ten Hag's been smoking on if he thinks United have any real quality style there at the moment, man. Oh, shit. They've done us open. This is terrible defending. It's a great save by Andre Onana. Yes, Andre. Should have been a goal there for Liverpool. And Andre denies them with a fantastic stop. Get some Onana emotes in there. Yes, Andre. Oh, my goodness, though, guys. Um, that was too easy for... Uh, far too easy for super, Liverpool there. The, it's just, that is why we're conceding so many chances. Because when teams break against us, we have one defender at the back. There's no fucking organisation at the back here. Liverpool coming at us again. That was a great save. What a stunning save that by Onana. Big save that. Shocking defending. Hopefully that wakes us up because where are United's back line? Look at this replay here. Look at this replay. Look. Who's marking up the man at the back? Nobody. Casemiro Dallow's way out of position. Casemiro's slow as fuck getting back. Mate, we're so lucky there that Onana's pulled off a great stop. Kylie Madison. Yes, Kylie. How are you doing? Welcome in, Kylie. Good luck to you today, even though you're a Liverpool scummeress. Obviously, I don't mean good luck to you, but... Yeah, th thank you so much, Kylie, very much indeed here for getting in here with that pure love there from Indonesia. Shout out to you, says, may we have a good game, Flying Pig. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, may we have a good game. Absolutely, I guess may the best team win. That's not really what I want to want to say, though. It's more like may Manchester United win. But get in there, Kylie Madison. Thank you so much for that. I hope you are well. I hope you are well. <sighs> no flubber hand there. No, absolutely, Glenn. Best game of the season. Yes, Ryan D. Put your guitar in the kitchen before it goes. To... <laughs> good call. Good call. You reckon Mark Duclosely says it's going to be the final nail in Ten Ice Coffin today, mate? Maybe. We are crap hardcore gamer, mate. We get overrun easy on the counter. It's filth. Okay. Oh, good. Well, one back there by Casemiro. Go on, boys. Yes. Play on. Advantage. Come on. We have support. We have support down the left. Casemiro decides to go inside. Maguire now plays it wide left to Rashford. Super, yes. super chat. <laughs> Wamba Saka's up there. What's Wamba Saka doing? He's up there. Rashford now over to Dallow. Hey, thank you so much, Kylie Madison. Break out the love hearts for Kylie again. She says, may the best team win. <laughs> oh, that's what I was afraid of. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm afraid of. Because let's face it, Man United are not a great team this season under Ten Hag. No, we're not. But anybody can win on the day if we turn up and give it our best here and are actually organised. You're a legend, by the way, Kylie. Thank you so much. That's very generous of you. Oh, yes, he's fell over. Maguire's won it in the back there. Well done, Slabs. Yep, he's fallen over. Thank you so much, Kylie. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't have any Guinness today, Metallicoff. I know I'm having a mare, aren't I? That was a good luck omen for us last time. 260 likes. Thank you, UK Strains. Nice one, boss. That's awesome, wrestlers native, mate. That's banging. Thank you very much, Kylie. Why can't I hear Piggy? Oh, Kekade, what's going on, mate? Turn up your uh, your speaker there, dudes. Turn up your speaker, Kekade. You can hear me, can't you guys? Obviously. Been doing a stream here for fucking 25 minutes. Surely you can hear me. The sound's low. All right, let me turn this up just a wee bit. Uh, Tell me gain up a little bit. Hopefully it should be all right. I'm slightly further away from the mic today. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, thank you, Robotic Maniac and SRM and Red Gold and everybody. Okay, we're all good. That's better, is it? Okay, great. Right, cool. You can hear me better. Okay, cool. Nice one. There we go. 
Cheers, Rico Benito. Okay, switched up play to the right for uh, Alejandro Garnacho. He's going to come into the box. Now he does. He's beaten the defender. It's a nice ball in. Looking for Hoyland. Hoyland indeed gets that service today. But Virgil van Dickhead is there to cut it out of the back. And somebody's got a yellow card. Was it van Dickhead? He's got, wait, hang on. What's happened here? Who's got a yellow card here? Andy Robertson, was it? I'm not sure. But somebody's just been awarded a yellow card by the ref. Uh, hey, Simon Gumbrell. Yes, it was for the tackle on Rashford in the build up there. Simon Gumbrell says, if you win today, will you play the guitar? Probably not, Simon. No, it's out of tune right now, mate. Did you not see me smashing the pieces the other day, lad? <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely out of tune. I can play you one chord, though. You know. Corner for United. It's a decent start, this, actually. It's a decent start. We haven't been ripped open just yet. Well, apart from that one chance that Onana's stopped. Obviously, we haven't been scored on. So, it's a good start as far as I'm concerned. I'm just trying to remain really calm today, guys. That's it. You know what? So, I have to say, sometimes doing these streams, I get really stressed out. <laughs> you know, I really do. It's just, and like, obviously, you do watching football. You know, it's just a natural thing. But then... When I'm streaming at the same time, it's just quite it's quite a stressful thing sometimes, you know? So I'm just trying to remain calm and not get as stressed out today. That's the idea. I know this is a big game and everything, but I'm just, tr super, just trying to chill out a little bit chat. today. Yeah. Just trying to chill out a little bit today, guys. <laughs> that's that's the plan. <laughs> Good ball over the top by United to Hoyland, but it's just cut out the back, dealt with by Van Dickhead. Yeah, I am nervous. Kyle Fury, how the devil have you been, mate? It's a fast start. Yes, indeed. Hey, thank you, Kate Cadet, for the super chat. Says, let's go for it today, boys. No holding back. Yes, come on, the cake. That's it, mate. You know, it's games like this that can sort of restore your faith in the players and the team sometimes if they can have a good game like this. Garnacho on the right gets the cross in. It's a corner for United. This is a good start by United, guys. A few corners here, a little bit of pressure, a little bit of uh, opportunities attacking in the final third. It's a good start by United. It is. It is. Keep, keep Mrs. Peace crockery out of the way and you'll be fine. Hi there, Saeed. What's happening, uh, Saeed Arsalan? Yeah. Oh, okay, Robotic Maniac. Well, thank you very much for getting in here, bro. I appreciate you watching. Goes for everyone as well. We're trying to be a chilled out today, though, mate. Okay, corner comes in for United. Come on. Bruno Fernandes. Erwan Bissaka now. Rashford, can he keep it in? Struggles to do so. He's lost out over on the left side in Liverpool now with the ball, but there has been a foul committed. United with the opportunity for the foul from Bradley there, I believe. Or maybe it went out for a throw. Yeah, Andrew Kearney says, I'm a Gunner fan, but on United's side today. You're right about that, manic depressive United. Yeah, highs, lows, few peaks, massive valleys this year. Spot on, dude. Yeah. How did champs go last night and nodded off? Um, we, we, I was sneezing all over the place. I was really ill last night. I'm feeling better today, actually. Still stuffed up, but not snotty McTominay vibes. Yesterday, I was just, like, dribbling out of my face for the entirety of the stream. So, yeah. Um, I only played three games because I was sneezing every 30 seconds, and I was conceding goals. So, you know, you can't really play when you're just sne having a sneeze fit every 30 seconds. So, I only played three games, mate. But we, we, uh, we, we have got a record of two and one in champs at the moment, mate. So, yeah. Shit, we've given the ball away in our third, mate. Here come Liverpool down the right side. Ball whipped over to the back stick. Chance for Liverpool. Shot on goal. wan a good block. Out for Liverpool corner. Kate says, I wonder if streaming in that cold garage contributes to your illnesses, Piggy. Yeah, it could be. I don't really know, mate. I'd love to tell you what is going on with it, mate. I think it's a combination of immune system being gash, not taking care of myself properly in regards to supplements or vitamins, and also... Just shit weather, like you say, and being in this cold, horrible, damp garage all the time. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a big contributor, mate. Good call. Good call. Uh, <laughs> right, here is... Uh, and also the fact that, uh, you know, there's a lot of germs coming in and out of the house, mate. Yeah, that's that's got to be a factor. Corner for Liverpool's gone over the top of everyone then. Oof, shot from distance from the edge of the box there. Oh, and it's well over the top of the crossbar in the end. Mr. X says, I want to see something broken today, Piggy. Either Mrs. P's mug or plate. Something's going to get broken, mate, but it's probably going to end up being Liverpool's fucking hymen today, mate. Because we're smashing them up. Yeah? No, I didn't. I'm doing a stream. What do you mean? 
No, somebody just said in the comment. Why are you listening to my stream outside the door? No, somebody just said uh, Mrs. P's plate safe or something. Okay. All right, no worries. No, I'm not calling you. Okay, have a nice day. <laughs> uh, funny lunch says some in bed gaming and cereal eating, soup eating TLC for Miss Piggy after Piglet was bouncing two days later. What? <laughs> Is burning a, bu a crockery. Exactly. That's what's going on there. Stuart Orlison says Mrs. P hide the family heirlooms. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, dear. Van Dickhead at the back then. So, yeah. This Liverpool side, if they want to win the league, they're going to have to take the game to us a bit more than this. I think they're just starting the game sort of reasonably, what's the word, uh, tentatively. But, um, yeah, they're certainly not offering too much at the moment here. Back they go to Kelleher in goals. Go on, Robotic Maniac. Nice one. Liverpool's kit is horrid. Yeah, it's shite, isn't it? It is a shite one, yeah. Oh, my God, though. Yes, Dallow. Well done, Dallow. He's cut it out of the back there, taken it away from Nunes. Nunes just trying to put it over to the left side. It was a dodgy moment there, dodgy-looking moment. I mean, I am worried about how open United look when we do give the ball away. Look at that, three-on-one. I mean, that, by all rights, should be a Liverpool goal. He should have just... Darwin Pune should have just put that over to Salah, and then Salah could have just squared it back across goal, and it's a goal. Fuck me. Good, good, big challenge that from Diogo Dallo. Big challenge. But I tell you what, dodgy uh, we are at the back there. Three on one instantly when we turn possession over. Shocking. Shocking organisation from us at the back. Ten Hag's defensive tactics at United this season have been shite, i.e., the way that they've set up defensively and organisation wise, etc. They are shite. That's why we've conceded so many chances on our goal. Uh, that's good uh, from Gun Nacho. Gets back, slides in. But still possession of the football here for Liverpool. On the left-hand side now for them. Eddie, Eddie says Punez. I call him that too. Yeah, Shartwin Punez is his full name, lad. Shartwin Punez. Liverpool now. Tommy says, has Mrs. P got your dinner on sausage? She doesn't, actually. I think uh, I've been roped into ordering a Chinese later, mate. I have been roped in. I'm on a diet right now. Sorry. I've been roped in. I'm on a diet right now. You're forcing me to eat a Chinese later. It's a disgrace. You said do this and I'll get you a treat. I'm not going to divulge what it was because it sounds strange. But, um... but You made it sound ten times worse than what it was now. She was. Cr she. I. She just. I just said, if you crack all ten of my fingers, I'll buy you a Chinese, and, and she I did. did. It's a random thing. You're making it sound worse. You're like making it sound like I asked you to do some sexual favors or something for a Chinese. No, it was cracking my fucking fingers. That's what it was. Yeah, and then you Fuck said, you, "I've got a treat for you if you do that." I did it, and you said, "I get you a Chinese." I didn't. Break yeah, I didn't expect you to crack all ten fingers, mate. It was oh, mad. Well. Anyway. You said you were going to get the meats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Chinese we say it. We well. I'm supposed to be on a diet. I've got this weight loss challenge. My brother ends in 13 days. Gaza, it was your idea. All right, okay. Anyway, I'll do a stream right now. I haven't got time to discuss know, this. I'll speak to you, to you about this it. afterwards. Do you want a drink or anything? No, thank you very much. All right, then have a good... Hey, everyone, are you good? I won't put the washing machine on because it's too loud, isn't it? Yeah, it's too loud. Yeah. All right, see you in a bit. Nobody needs to know about Jonathan Gallagher's cuisine, lad. Kate Cadet, no. Jim Watkins, hello, you legend. What's going on, Jim? What's up, Bex Hill? What do you mean, bro? <laughs> John says, long suffering woman. Hey, it works both ways, John. Oh, yes, we've got a chance. One it's played in by Redford. Can he get one on one? Oh, um, no, he can't. He has to go back. He has to cut back, but he's done well. Good hold up there by Hoyland. Rashford over to the left now to Bruno Fernandes. 
Overlapped by Wambasak, who tries to feed him in, but Bruno's pass is cut out of the back. Really well won back by Rashford. He looks up for it today. He actually is chasing the ball and trying to press and get stuck in, which is more than you can say for half of his performances this season. You lazy bastard! But in this game so far, he's looking decent. Freddie Lewis says, you're killing me, piggy. Yeah, she sounds sweet as can be. She sounds lovely. You've already seen one side of her. <laughs> No, she's absolutely lovely. She's a lovely girl, is Mrs. P. She's a, she's a diamond. Let's get a hashtag diamond in the live chat, guys. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Kyle Fury says, I'm so scared we must win. Yeah, and yeah, this is a super open game at the moment. Like, definitely United in this. Thank you, Solitude Guys, as you're a diamond too, mate. Always cheering us up. Thank you so much, dude. Hey, we've got 923 legends in here, and we're not even losing. That's banging. Shout out to the Posse, the Bacon Brigade, the Hamada in here today. Yes. I say this one more time, guys, before half time anyway. Smash the like because it helps the channel out, boosts us up in the algorithm, which is a cruel mistress, and helps us complete with compete with clickbaiters and corporation prats. So hit the thumbs up button if you want to support the channel. That's one of the best ways you can do it. And share it around. It's free. Nice one. Here we go then. Come on then. Uh oh, Liverpool into enter our third shot on goal. Great defending there by Casemiro. It's a lovely sliding block, and he's won the ball well. Lovely combative play by Cassie. <sighs> McAllister now over to the left. For the Scousier, he shot on goal. It's wide left. Oh yes, it's wide. Goodness me, dodgy stuff. Showbiz like coming in there, hot. And it's wide left of the stick. Thank you, Black Belt, second Dan. Appreciate that. Thank you for the last you give us. Hey, thank you so much, boss. Appreciate you. Don't need Liverpool winning the league. Nah, absolutely, Phil. It's a double whammy for United today, really. Obviously, we always want to win. It's a triple whammy, really. We want to win games of football against the Scousers any day. It doesn't matter if it's a friendly. Of course we do. That's one thing. But then also we're vying for sort of top five, top four, whatever you want to call it, Champions League places which is very unlikely at the moment, but I guess it's still possible. And obviously, if we win this game, that makes it slightly more likely. Um, and we also want to stop the Scousers from winning the league. If we do that, it'd be amazing. So fucking come on, boys. Just need one boss performance in a day. Get the job done. Get the win. And just um, cement those Scousers crying all afternoon long. Because let's face it, if they do lose this game, their hopes of the, of the Premier League title are badly knocked. Because there's only six or seven games left. Yes, they... Technically, if they win this, they'll they'll be top. So it's not like they're, they'll be miles behind because they'll still only be like a point or, or two or whatever point behind. But even so, still, you'd rather have the points at this stage. So, uh, yeah, big blow to them if they don't win. You what there, Jack Ann? What do you mean? You can see the top of my screen. You what? Hey, City 10, how you doing? Yeah, she says, come on, United. Absolutely, even the City scummers are rooting for us today. I suppose, because, uh, yeah, gives them more of a chance of winning the league. I still think that City win the title. I do. I know, OK, Arsenal are probably looking the most impressive at the moment in terms of just consistent performances and style and stuff. Arsenal are looking good. But Arsenal are Arsenal, and Arsenal bottle it. Liverpool also have a bottle in them as well. And City know how to have a Premier League run in. They know sort of how to close out the season. Um, so my money is actually on City still this season. Let, let's, let's, ask, let's ask the chat. Who wins the Premier League this year? It's a three-horse race. It's actually the most interesting Premier League campaign for a while in that sense, as a neutral. But, um, yeah, who do you think? Arsenal, Liverpool or City? I still think City, to be honest. I still think City. City says Dave Watkins. Yeah, Chris Coos says, I don't know, Pig. Phil Arsenal could do it. Yeah, but it's Arsenal we're talking about, though, Chris. You know, it's like, it's Arsenal. They are absolute bottlers, lad. They're the, just the supreme bottlers. So, as I as, as I say that, it pans over to ten. Oh, he's drinking out of a bottle there. <laughs> that's that's like quite symbolic there. You know, he's a bottler as well. Don't know, pig. I feel Arsenal could do it though. Yeah, maybe. You think City will win the league? City, Arsenal. Hey, shout out to you getting in here from Nashville, Tennessee, man. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, lad. City, Arsenal, Luton, City, City. Yeah, City, 
City, not United. A lot of you share the opinion as well. City, City, Arsenal deserve it. I'd much rather Arsenal win. Arsenal wins it, which pains to say me. It's the lesser of three evils, lad. So, Liverpool, looks like City. Uh, so, Freddie, I don't know what I'm going to order because I'm on a diet, mate. So, I'm going to look at on there what the what's the healthiest dishes you can get from like a conventional UK Chinese takeaway place. I don't know. But usually what I would get is like a beef chow mein, kung pao chicken, sweet and sour chicken balls and some sort of special young chow fried rice. That's what I would go for, mate. But that's a little bit too much right now. I can't really indulge in that at the moment. Oh, seven, nine, three, you Don. Hello to you. What's happening? Skinny chips, Chinese dust. What's the healthiest thing from a Chinese takeaway? One prawn cracker. Nothing, says Panzer. <laughs> What's that? Something chick orange chicken, right? Uh, chicken balls, plain rice, Ugh. orange chicken. Get the soups, noodles with seeds on. <laughs> Healthiest food from a Chinese takeaway. No, it doesn't really go in hand in hand, does it? Chicken or beef with vegetables and rice. That's a good shout, you know, Ethan. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably end up getting something like that. Yeah. It's going to be shite, though, man. Who orders that from a Chinese? Okay, corner in for the Liverpools. Oh, fucking bloody Norris being in your fucking back door. There it is. There's the fucking goal from the corner. It's been over the fasting. Luis Diaz is there at the back post to put it in there. Fucking Nora. There it is, guys. There is the breakthrough. It's taken all of fucking 30 seconds, mate. Uh, after... Oh... It's not after the, after the start and play again there, guys. And it's fucking 1-0 to Liverpool here, mate. Unmarked to the box. Look at this statuesque defending from these fucking absolute jebbins at the back here. My God. There's four or five players there not picking him up. Lewis Diaz is in an acre of space at the back. They're just chilling, bro. My God, he's in so much space here. Look, it's, 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 and also Darwin wins the header so easy. Mate, what are we playing here, man? This is some wank bag fucking kiddie zonal marking guff. Look, I've heard of zonal marking, right? But zonal marking, he can fucking go and chase your fucking man who might be moving into space. Fucking get tied to him for fuck's sake. You know, nobody's there marking him up. And he's just in a free bit of space at the back there. It's like a free goal for him in the end of the, in the end of the day. Lewis Diaz has scored for Liverpool. Sharkwin Punez puts it over to him there. <sighs> With the header. I'm surprised he was able to get that on look in the right direction without fucking amount of grease on his body there. But he does actually uh does actually get the breakthrough for them. And we're one nil down against the shit houses. Fucking hell. Right, fucking come on then, United! Let's go! Let's not just bend over for these scousers today! Let's get at these twats! The game's livened up! The game's opened up! Come on, they've scored now! Now it's time for a fucking reaction! Let's see if they can do it. That's not what we needed, guys. 1-0 to level. Well, that is a kick in the bollocks right there. one point three k watching is there I can't know. um <sighs> mate <sighs> do you know what that was just shit all round wasn't it that piece of defending there was absolutely fucking gastastic and no stop from onana there just far too easy though it's it's just so easy for them at this stage there when you've got players just standing at the back there in a line and then you just stand in front of them two yards in front of them and you've got space it's really really i don't understand that why are we not sort of man marking tight man in this in, in that sort of incident because that does literally look like a bunch of fucking sabutio twats just super, stood there still no it's like oh, tonight's got to get on the pitch and fucking flick him into position or something it's actually unacceptable how slow and immobile they are in those instances 
You know, I don't get it. You're supposed to, when I was a kid, right? Okay, there's all this zone of marking guff, mate. And yeah, I, I hate zone of marking myself. But in regards to, you, you get goal side, you get tight to a man, you choose a man, everybody's got their man, you get goal side, you get tight from a fucking corner. It's as simple as that. Get goal side, you get tight. It's simple as that. And you keep your man, you stick on him. And he's obviously going to try and move around. You've got to stick on him like fucking glue. Man, how many spare red shirts were, spare super, white shirts were there out on that set piece there? <sighs> yeah, fucking useless than kid table mans, exactly. Kenneth Kernan, thank you for your super chat here. We've got a free kick. Bruno Fernandez. Kenneth says 1,300 watching and only 425 likes. It's because half of them are fucking scousers, mate. These scousers, they're reluctant to leave a like because they're fucking scouts, mate. There you go. Oh! Casemiro's headed back across goal. It was a great chance for United. Nobody home. Oh, it's a great chance for United. Goes a begging. Kenneth says 1,300 watching and only 425 likes. Yeah, it's because they're all fucking scouts or Chelsea melts or City scummers. So that's what's going on. But even if you are a fucking scummer, do hit the thumbs up button. You might as well. <sighs> even championship sort of size of any. Mate, you just better watch out when, for when we play Coventry. They're a decent sort of side, you know. I know on paper we should be getting the job done against those twats, but goodness me, I wouldn't put it past us to get knocked out of the cup by fucking Coventry at this stage. Yeah, basic level defending, we've all learned, Piggy. It's fucking unforgivable. I completely agree, boss. I completely agree. It is just absolute basic amateur stuff. Bruno, yes. Go on, Hoyland. Go on. He holds it up in the box. Heavy feet from him. He's giving it away. One back by Cassie. Dallo now. Cassie's having a good game so far today. Here is now Garnacho. Wide right. Can he beat the defender? He does, but Punes comes in. And Garnacho's caught him. And Punes has gone down like he's been shot. You might even get a yellow card here, Garnacho, here for a late tackle. Zay Miassi says, Super Chat Piggy R. Sorry I missed that, Zane. How are you doing today there, Zay Miassi? Sorry if I missed anyone's messages there. Let's see what you said. Oh, here we go. Um, Zay Miassi says, Come on, United. Eye of the Tiger. Believe. Come on. That's what I like to hear, Zane. Yes, let's get that Eye of the Tiger uh, and some hashtag I believes in there for Zane. Super we do have the Eye of the Tiger, but unfortunately it's fucking Tony the Tiger, mate. And it's a cartoon, frosty, cereal-looking fucking tiger, mate. That's what it is. But, uh, nah, come on. Let's get let's get the Eye of the Tiger. Good shout. We've got one down. Let's see a response. It's a lot. There's a lot left to happen in this game. Thank you, Master Chiefs of Scouser, by, but love Piggy's content. Hey, fair play to you, lad. Thank you for that, Zane. Thank you, Kafka, for the super chats. Because Galazzo, you'll never walk alone. Oh, for fuck's sake! Darwin Nunes in on goal! Well played, Wambasaka the spider with an absolute lovely... Sorry, it was Kampala. My bad, guys. It's gone fuzzy here. Kampala with a fucking awesome, awesome slide tackle. That's great defended by Kampala there. He sort of misjudged the original ball over and unable to clear it and control it. But then he's got back and really covered well and made up for his mistake there and got a good tackle in upon... Um, Darwin Pune is there. You sense another fresh and incoming sack tomorrow. It's fucking disgraceful how far we've fallen. And nah, it is actually bang average, mate. You know, I, I, I am sorry. It's been a while now since I've sort of lost my faith in, in, in Ten Hag. But yeah, I could see a future of managing Ajax for the guy. That's a good fit for him. You know, that's a good fit for him. I can't really see. Ask yourself this question, right, guys? Okay, ask yourself this question. If Man United let Eric Ten Hag go tomorrow, is there a top team in a top league that would give him the job. When I mean a top team in the top league, I mean like, you know, the, you know, the, the Bayerns, the, the, the Real Madrid's, the Barcelona's, the, you know, all those teams. Super, Is there somebody like check. that who would employ him? I doubt it. I mean, I do doubt it, to be honest. I do kind of doubt that, to be honest. Travis says Tottenham, to be honest. Travis, I said a top team, mate. <laughs> I said a top team. Might as well say Carlisle United, mate, would give him a job. I said a top team, not fucking Tottenham, mate. I said a top team. Best Rocky villain, Zamiassi, it's got to be Ivan Drago because he literally killed Apollo Creed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you don't get much more of a shit house than that. He's fucking ended his bezzy mate. Do you know what I mean? It's got to be fucking Drago, bro. And plus, he was an absolute roid abusing, cheating bastard as well. You've got to give it him, even though he just barely said anything. If he dies, he dies. You know, he barely said anything. It wasn't like he was the most charismatic of individuals. But in terms of just horribleness, mate, he fucking killed Apollo Creed, lad. Clubber Lang was great, though. I think Clubber Lang was the most fun, weren't he? He was great. 
Hey, Mrs. Balboa, how about I come round your about 10.15 tonight, and I'll show you all about a real man. Clover, what's your prediction for the fight? Pain. You have to say, he was fucking awesome. <sighs> Yeah, me too, Stephen Mason. Absolutely brilliant movies. That's what United need to do tonight. We need to sort of encompass that mentality of Rocky Balboa in those early ones, you know? That's it. We might be taking some blows right now, early doors they've scored against us, but plenty of time left. So let's, uh, let's get that right hook going, you know what I mean? Callum says, can you do a Rocky watch long better than this shite? Uh, Mickey loves you, yes, indeed. Yeah, Cake okay, says, train all week and they can't even defend basic corners. Don't they do defensive draws and training? Fuck me. Well said, Kate Cadet, mate. I know it's actually unacceptable, the level of set-piece defending. Sometimes I wonder if our set-piece coach is Mr. Magoo or some shite. Because pff, it is quite bad how we've defended set-pieces in general this season, and last season, and the season before, actually. But certainly this season, it hasn't improved it was supposed to. Oh, fuck me. Look at this. Overrun here, guys. There's five shirts on three. Liverpool with another great chance. I don't know if it's amazing. This is fucking shocking. Defended by United. I'm fucking sick of seeing this. I'm just sick of seeing this shit, man. Look at that. It's just too fucking easy. All at sea. So much wide open space for them to play the ball. And nobody in the right position where they fucking need to be, mate. We're lucky this isn't 2-3-0, to be fair, with guff defending organisation like this. It's fucking wank. Every time we lose the ball, they have a free reign run at our goal, mate. If you never heard of anything of a little bit of fucking organisation, you twats. You know? I can't take this, mate, can't I? Shit, corner in for Liverpool now. Salah shot from the edge of the box. Onana has to make another great save. Shocking. Mate, thank you very much there, Daz Salford, for getting in with five gifted members, you legend. Thank you so much, Daz. Get some big love in there for Daz, guys. Five new members on the channel. Let's go, Daz Salford. Thank you for that. Yeah, welcome into the five new members there, courtesy of Daz Salford. Make sure you give him a thank you if you're one of the lucky ones to get one. Thank you so much there, Daz. Top man. Another, another, another set piece here. Another set piece for Liverpool. Whipped into the back post. Header on it by Darwin Shunez. He's fucking missed it. <sighs> Easy play to Darwin Punez and he shot it over the top of the crossbar. Mate, this is fucking shocking. I mean, I was expecting a bit of a tough day at the office, but my God, we're so open. Look at this. There's, he's just, they're just getting so many free opportunities. We're lucky not to be too free down already. There's so many free opportunities. I mean, look at that. How much space does Nunez have to have that shot? He's just chilling in an acre of space. I don't understand what our defensive sort of mindset is. I don't understand it. This is the worst defensively I've seen Manchester United under Ten Hag. I mean, since, yeah, since, well, well, ever, actually. Well, fucking ever. Do you know that? I mean, ever. When I think about it. Mate, our defence in the 90s was fucking sick. Brucey Pallister, uh, with uh, Paul Parker, early doors, and it, it, it evolved into, you know, the likes of fucking Rio, St Stam, fucking Vidic, whatever. We've always had beasts. It's always been beastly in terms of organisation. It's always been good. I mean, you can't get it right every time, but in general, it's always been fucking solid. My God, what is this dross at the back that we are seeing from Manchester United these days? Here we go again! Here we go again! Liverpool just completely cut us open for fuck's sake, mate! Mo Salah shot over the top of the grass. I don't believe this! We're fucking second rate at best, mate! We are second rate! Liverpool making us look like rank amateurs here, guys! Look at this at the back! It should be 3 4 nil for them! We're so lucky it's not! Look how easy it is! Look how easy it is for them! Mate! Nah. 
This ain't it. This ain't it. Ten Hag can do one, mate. Ajax getting dropped up fucking 7-0 by Feyenoord today. They're calling, mate. Ajax are calling you, Ten Hag, mate. They want you to come and fucking re-sign for them, bro. They're prepared to offer you a signing on fee of an extra special pair of clogs and a fucking ounce of fucking Northern Lights. Uh, what do you say? Fucking hell. Honestly, I've had enough of this dross. The best teams are built on defensive solidity. They are. The best teams are built on defensive solidity. And we are built on defensive sh sh shitty whatever that is. Of basically, a gash foundation is what we're built on. Faz says Ten Hag will say Viva unlucky. Do you know what really pissed me off about Ten Hag? Well, I'll say this now. I, I must admit, a lot of the time, you know, post-match interviews with managers, a lot of the time they do come across as a little bit like, oh, uh, you know, defensive, obviously. You know, can I just say this? Eric Ten Hag's post-match interviews this season have been absolutely infuriating. The guy's just an absolute bloody rose tint of glasses melt. All he ever does is he never owns up to anything, does he? Super it's always just, oh, I thought chat. we were good, we were unlucky. No, we were fucking shy, Eric. Say it out, here's your bald twat, you know? Get in there, my son. Sorry for anybody bald, it's just, you know, <laughs> it's, just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just say it out, it's for oh, fuck's sake, Eric, chat. mate, we were shy, say it. Don't just say we were good when we weren't. Don't say we had style when we didn't. I never, never understand that. Orlando Arellano, thank you so much there for the tip there. Thank you for tipping, mate. Beauty. Thank you very much there. Thank you, Orlando. What a legend. Legend of the channel. You're done with this garbage. We have absolutely nothing piss poor. It's horrible football, man. Diarrhea fountain. Still no shot by United. Ah, oh, Shane McCarthy. It's a fucking disgrace. Roy Keane would be throwing punches out there if he was on this team. He would let them on the coach. No, it's fucking unacceptable, this. Defence is in the sick home. The only Ajax Eric Ten Hag uses when he cleans the dressing room floor. Good shout, yeah. Built on defensive vulnerability. Yeah, we can't do it, mate. We can't do it. Thank you, Bravura, for subscribing. Right, yes, hit the subscribe button if you're here for the first time, guys. We're only 10 away from the next milestone, 81,100. We have hit now 81,000 subs, by the way, guys. We did that in between the streams. So shout out the new peeps getting in here. We're on 81,000. Big push to 100k now, guys. 100,000 subscribers looms. It may take a year, two years, six months, ten years. Who knows? But it looms. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to get there one day. So smash that subscribe button if it's your first time here. Hey, Paul, thank you for your super chat, Paul. Nice one. Hope you've been keeping well, Paul S. Thanks for that. He says, I'm a Man United fan for life, but I just can't invest emotions in this lost season, son. Season's over. Season's fucking over, bro. You know, it really is. It really is, Paul, mate. I'm sorry to say, I do believe that Ten Hag's season's over. His time at the club's probably over. Let you see it to the end of the season because obviously we've got that FA Cup campaign still. We're still in that. I couldn't give a shit about that, guys. The league performance has been jank and the uh, Champions League performance was wank. So it's been a jank wank season. Yes, okay, the FA Cup, nice one. Yes, let's get that silverware. But it doesn't save his job for me. This is too repetitively gash from us in terms of each game. Diaz down on the ground. Feels like he was taken out there. He's clutching his calf. Let's have another look at this. And Wambasaka, no Kambuala, comes in and gets a good tackle in there. Get up, Diaz. That's a great bit defended by Kambuala. He's just won the ball clean. Yes, Diaz has gone down and taken a little bit of contact, but it was a fantastic, fantastic slide in by Kwambala. Players are a bunch of wankers most of the... Oh, yeah, oh, oh yeah, oh, 793. I mean, it's not just an... I mean, not a lot of these players are shite bags, lad. You know, you're absolutely right. I mean, basically, I would just keep a lot of the youth players that we've got in the team, the, the hungry, good players that have proven themselves to actually try out there, i.e. Garnacho, Mainu, Dallo. Wambasaka, you know, they're still young. A lot, lot, yeah, lot of the youngsters, right, are, are good. And I've got no problem with their effort levels. But then you've got prima donna melts like Marky Gashford floating around the place, not bothering. You've got, you know, God, Tony Martial and Maguire and so many players at this football club that are just tried and tested guff. It's time to move them on. And if we can get rid of the wrong personalities, get the right characters in, you never know what this United side could do. Because we do have a good core of, like, players for the future. I feel like we've got some banging players for the future. Hoyland, you know, 
Mainu and all these players I just mentioned. We've got some great talents for the future. But right now, man, it's it's the senior super, players that let us down. It's the senior chat. players who let us down more often than not. <sighs> Zay Miassi with a super chat says, spitting image of United player you'd like to see. The fuck are you talking about, Amy Asher? You mean that? You mean that comedy puppet show, Spit an Image, Spit an Image of Get United there, player? Son. Would you like to see? That's just bad. That's just bad English, mate. Spitting Image of United player, you'd like to see? I don't know what you mean. You mean which player would I like to see on Spitting Image? Is that what you mean? <laughs> which player? Fucking none of them, Amy Asher. We're doing a fucking watch live for Liverpool game. I don't give a shit about Spitting Image right now, boss. What the fuck? My God, guys talk about spitting image for fuck's sake. It's a problem, dude. Yeah, Slabhead would be the easiest. Although that would take a heck of a lot of rubber in order to make that puppet. <laughs> in all fairness, take a heck of a lot of rubber. Sorry, headphone users. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> Good, goodness me, Amy Assey, lad. Corner in for Liverpool. Slabhead slow as a fucking snail. You said it, boss. So I was watching a video the other day and basically it was a, a sloth trying to cross the road in Australia or no, it wasn't Australia. Where the, wherever the fuck sloths are. <laughs> I don't know. Where, wherever sloths are indigenous to, I don't know. Anyway, it's a sloth crossing the road, mate. And uh, in the end, these cars had to obviously, somebody had to get out, pick up this sloth and carry him to a tree because otherwise they'd have been there for all eternity. That's what it feels like watching Harry Maguire play at the back for Manchester United. It feels like we're watching a fucking sloth trying to cross a road here whilst on ketamine. Kid L. Sloth is indigenous to United's defence. Yes, exactly. Great shout. That's true. Oh my God, it is. Where's my... Losing, losing my mind. Oh, where's that gone? Liverpool come at us again here down the right. Mo Salah up against Mags. Mags does well, climbs all over him and wins the ball. But it's a throw in now for uh, Liverpool. Sloths are faster than Maguire. Yeah, good shout. Sloth FC. Zero shots at 43 minutes. Are you kidding me? A sloth on ketamine. Yeah, precisely. <laughs> Bruno Fernandes has been shocking, says Captain Woodpass. Thank you, Eddie. We got nearly 600 likes before half time there. Thank you, everyone who's hit the likes. Can we smash 600 by half time? It's actually just coming up to the 45 minutes here. Bruno Fernandes has been rough today, mate. Man, I mean, goodness me. Rasmus Hoyland. Is feeding off of literal scraps, isn't he? Fuck me. How isolated has he been up there in this game? Imagine if that guy was actually playing for a team who could get the ball to him. It'd be pretty nutty, wouldn't it? Oh, Casemiro's lost out giving the ball away the sloppy pass. Yes, Aaron. Thank you. 600, baby. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Wait a second here. Chance again now. Oh, dude, it's been in. It's fucking close to being another goal. My God, is that a wicked save and a half or what by Andre Onana? I can't. I, it's, let's have a little look at this from the angle. I'm not sure if he's got a glove to it, but it might be a save from Onana again. It's a give and go. I think Nunes is just offside anyway. He gets the shot off on goal. It's a fucking epic save by Onana. Do you know what? Andre Onana, take a bow, son. Because it should be 4-5-0 no, if it wasn't for Andre today. That's another great stop. Okay, it was offside probably anyway. But that's going in. And Onana's just made a ridiculous save there. Ridiculous save. It's a great save. Like, he's the only player actually sort of living up to at the moment today. 
And that tells you everything, really. We're getting fucking peppered. <sighs> Thank you, John Lutton. Love you, dude. You kick every, every kick of all. It doesn't help. But watch that. Yeah, that's good about our under 19s battering them, mate. I know. That is good. That is good. But, it does, you know, obviously that's good for the future. It is good for the future. But it only means so much, doesn't it? This is the game that counts. Oh my God, Conor Bradley shot on goal, blocked by Alman Basak is a good one. Yeah, this is the game that counts, and so far it's going against us pretty badly, mate. We're looking like shite. Flappy has made some nice saves. He's made some great saves, Autopilot. He is hit and miss. Uh, yeah, 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 no, no. He is hit and miss. I, I just got to give, give him credit and say he has had a great game today so far, and he's actually been quite solid the last few months. He's made one or two errors in that time, but he's been quite solid. Is he United's number one going forward, though? Yeah, probably not long term but he is i think he is uh definitely looking better than he was when we first signed him obviously okay corner in for liverpool bruno cuts it out it's now going to be a throw into liverpool on the right yeah you're right about that john liverpool should have killed the game off by now they've had the chances to do so and they've they've had the quality and they've exposed our really gash back line many times already but it's only one nil like we are still in it there's the halftime whistle then, guys. It's fucking shocking. Listen, guys, let's not, let's not, let's not, let's not sugarcoat this. Let's not sugarcoat this at all. Manchester United out here playing like a bunch of fucking absolute rancid fucking cock weasels. You know? We are. Let's not sugarcoat it at all. This is a pathetic game from us so far. Yes, it's a big game against Liverpool and they're a good team. But oh my God, this is dreary as fuck. There's no bottle from us going forward. We haven't even got Rasmus on the ball once up the top there. There's no service. There's no uh, tenacity in the final third to create. We've just basically had one good chance in this half so far and it's been shy. And I'm not even talking about the attacking. The attacking, that's one thing. How's about the defending in this game? It's pathetic. Pathetic. Pitiful. Dash, rancid, festering, turd-like defending from us. You know, what are we working on in the training, guys? What is Ten Hag working on? I swear they just sat around fucking smoking bowls or something rather than fucking doing any sort of active work here trying to make this team organised and actually defend better. Because the way we defended today is nothing short of rank amateur shite relegation fodder standards teams. It's fucking pathetic. Honestly, the way we get turned over, lose possession, concede the chances, we're so unorganised at the back there that when we do lose the ball, you've basically got everybody all over the place, nobody in the right position. There's no real sort of like um, telepathy going on with these players. Remember back in the day, United used to have telepathy. It was almost like Vinic and Rio, these guys, they built up an understanding, they know where their teammate's going to be, and that helps when you've got that understanding together. I get it, this back nine has been chucked together, you know, Cambada's coming to the team. I get it, it's not a well-established team that have been playing together for years. Okay, fair enough, maybe I'm being a bit overly critical, but fuck me, this is some shit defending from us, guys. That's where we're losing this game today, we can't defend, we can't defend. They've had a million shots, should have had four goals. Onana saved us time and time again. It's fucking pathetic. It is. It's pathetic. Zero shots from us as well. That is inc insane, man. That's absolutely insane. Lily Gamer says, we done you at the bridge. Oh, fuck off, Lily Gamer. Don't even get me started about that game. Good to see you, Lily Legend. Sorry about that, but don't even get me started. <sighs> you quote open heart surgery? Yes, yeah, certainly. Yes, yeah, certainly. Certainly. You're absolutely right. Super, uh, super chat. Andrew Collins, thanks for the super chat. It says, zero shots at Old Trafford is a fucking disgrace. Eric Tenag out. Yeah, that, I mean, that's insane, isn't it? Zero shots on their goal at half time at Old Trafford. <sighs> no getting away from that, is there? That's absolutely disgusting. Doesn't matter who you're playing. Doesn't matter if you're playing prime Barcelona or whoever. For United not to have created more than that. It's it's a travesty, mate. That's where we're at right now. Do you know what? Just what is this guff? This season's dead, mate. We just need this season to be over and done with now. We can all crack on with our lives until the new season. We've got a new manager, a new investment from any arse and new players. This season's fucksville. Honestly. It's fucksville. We'll just finish just finish it now. Just finish it now. This side won't win the FA Cup either, guys. I mean, I don't want to be that guy. We're still in it. We've still got a chance. 
But we won't fucking win the FA Cup with this set of players, mate. It's it's too shit. It's too shit. Yeah, exactly, Eddie. If you played the World Eleven, you'd expect one shot. Dude, this is Manchester United at Old Trafford. Man United should be going toe to toe with the World Eleven. Manchester United should be one of the best teams in the world. Unfortunately, the Glazers have made sure that that's not the case with their absolute gastastic mismanagement of the club for many a year. But this is how far we've fallen now. We are fucking awful. We should be the Harlem Globetrotters of football, as far as I'm concerned. Like Super back in the Fergie Super days, swashbuckling yeah. football, you know, more often than not, you're going to turn up. This isn't the case. This is absolutely pitiful. Super, super chat. Moyes is the future. Fuck me. Roy Keenan says ruthless sausage. Well, it needs to be able to can crack a few of these heads together. Ezio Auditore, thank you for the $2 super crap, mate. Get in. He says, don't need to wait until the end of the season. Sack Eric Ten Hag now. Well, I don't think there's much point of sacking him right now. Honestly, don't. In fact, we're probably less likely to win the FA Cup. You know, we are still in that FA Cup. It'll be another Louis van Gaal situation. Don't worry, guys. Ten Hag's going in the summer, blatantly. He is. You know why he's going? Because he's got this Man United side playing like shit. Yes, we've got not the best squad, but mm, there's other managers out there with the, that would get this team more solidified at the back and playing better football and creating more chances and winning more games. There just is. So he's had a bit of a failure this year. And yes, he's probably on his merry way. He's proven himself to be a bit of a melter. We are unorganised. We can't create. We're not a good tactical side. He's supposed to get us to be this great team in transition and a pressing side and attacking side. We're none of those things. We're nothing. So, yeah, obviously he's, he's lost it. His head's gone with the team. And it's already the writing's already on the wall for him, I think. Um, I'll ask the chat, though, guys. Are you Ten Hag in or out? I know people will say you need time to build. It took Fergie years. Fuck me, this is just... Un I can't understand this. I just can't get behind what the football we're playing, though. I can't get behind it. At least under Ollie, Ollie there was hope. Super, and there was the occasional great chat. attack and display, and, you know? At least under Ollie there was hope. There's no hope under Ten Hag here. There's no hope whatsoever. Thank you, Ezio, for that, boss. Hey, thank you, Aaron Cannon, for the super chat, mate. How you been? Sorry I missed that, Aaron Cannon. Get in there, Aaron Cannon. Thank you for that, boss. I appreciate you. Let me just catch up with the chat here, guys. I'm miles behind. Thank you, Aaron Cannon, for the raw tip there, bro. Let's get some love in there. Also, Jassy Singh, bro, says, great content the past couple of weeks. Love you. Thank you, Jassy Singh. I appreciate you, my son. Uh, thank you, Jassy. Andrew says, this is great for your diet. You won't feel like eating after this. That's the only silver lining, I guess. We are pants as MUFC Charlie. Bench everyone age 23 or over. Roy, Roy Keane and Martin O'Neill could be an option. <sighs> Thunder Harrison, mate. It's awful. Look, I guess what we can hope for here is just that Ten Hag changes some major things at halftime there. We motivate the players, or he motivates the players. That's his fucking job, is to motivate the players and get them set up well and tactically right. Yeah, we got a bit of a mishmash defence, but even so, like, come on, Tenar, what are you all about? What's, the, what's these players all about? Are we going to see a response here from this awful first half? There's lots and lots and lots of problems that we can highlight in that first half that need addressing. So is he going to address any of them? We'll see. Probably not. <sighs> Super Buster says we look dangerous chat. on the break, but you only need a goal and we're back in it. Well, yeah, that's true, Buster. That's how football works, isn't it? Maybe <laughs> score a goal, we get back in it. But we've got to stop them from scoring in the process, mate, which is based on this first half, uh, you would say that they're looking more likely to convert than us. Super so even if we do chat. score, we've got to stop them from scoring. Um, I mean, dangerous on the break is great. That's great. That's great. We look dangerous on the break. Nice one. Do we? Uh, have we managed to have a shot on goal? Nah. So, I don't think we do look that dangerous on the break myself. Bring back Ollie. At least with Ollie, there was hope and it just felt nice. It felt right that we had this club legend managing us. Hey, look, we just hit 81,100 subs. Every cloud has a silver lining. Check that out. 81.1k. Thank you, everyone, for hitting the subscribe. If you're new, subscribe. Smash the like button, all that. Nice one. You've got no chance here. I agree, super, Martin. Look at how we're playing. We look awful. Chat. What you think of Potter coming in? Fuck no, Caden's edits, lad. Potter coming in. No, thank you. Not at all. Uh, not for me, mate, no. Same goes for Southgate. I don't want melters. I don't want melters. Actually, to be fair to him, he's a better manager than Southgate, I reckon, uh, based on his actual club management record. Southgate's done well for England, but his club management record's jank. 
no way would we want either of those mounts, to be honest. Even Potter didn't do this. But, I mean, yeah, Potter didn't do... You know, Potter did great with Brighton, melted at Chelsea. I don't want Potter. Panja, thank you for subscribing there, mate. Oh. Bring back Ollie. Big Sam is waiting. Hey, uh, Dieter, Dieter, Dieter Gunter. Guten Tag, my friender. Uh, danke. Ja, das ist sehr gut. Um, I appreciate you. Thank you, Dieter Gunter, very much indeed for getting in here with the Super Chat. says, love watching you with my dad. Shout out to Mr. and Mr. Gunter Sr. as well. Mr. Gunter and Mr. Gunter Sr. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Welcome in and I appreciate you guys for being here. Thank you for the tip there from Australia, mate. Get in there. I'm guessing you're of German descent, though, bro. We've got a German Aussie in the live chat, mate. Shit, Skippy, the dingoes are after us. Run! Yeah, man. This is what it feels like at United today. The dingoes are after us. Liverpool are after us here. We need some sort of Crocodile Dundee character to pop up, don't we? Yep. Eddie says, out on Eric Ten Hag. In, says Rufus Sausage. Players out. In. Ten Hag said he's staying. Out now. Out. In. Out. Do a poll, says Caleb Worku. I can't be bothered doing a poll in Bernstein. So he says, this is it now, lads. He needs to go. This is a poll. I've just done a poll. Out, Piggy, says Jay. Onana should have saved. In, says Ben. In, get him out now. In all day. Only LFC fans want to know. Ah, oh, I'm done, mate. You didn't want this, but I'm Eric Tanag out now. Yeah, I'm done, mate. It's just it's just the style is too bad. So, as I've said many times, I hate to repeat myself on this channel, but, yeah, results mean a lot. Of course they do. It's a results industry, but it's also about the whole... It's the, about the whole feel of the team, isn't it? It's about the whole feel, the style... The approach, the mentality, the organisation, the quality. You know, sometimes you will lose games and go on a bad run, but maybe the, the heart is there, you know? Sometimes the heart is there. You're still playing well. You're creating. You're an attacking force. Maybe you are shipping too many goals and therefore not getting the results and you're struggling. But if the heart is there and the desire is there, that's half the battle. But the, I don't see that from us. I don't see heart or desire or determination from us. And I definitely do not see organisation from us. So what is Ten Hag doing in his role as manager? He's not doing any of those things particularly well. That's a big problem. You kind of have to be one or the other. Yeah, there's lots of different facets to management. But, you know, two of the most important attributes of being a manager is, well, tactical abilities and also motivation. You know, and I don't see these two things really in our team at all so what the fuck's he doing with his life you know <sighs> negative goal difference six rounds to go that's fucking disgraceful isn't it i know just the fact that alone in itself is unacceptable for United. Look, we should be super, we should be getting positive goal difference, even if we're like sixth place in the league. Still, still, still have plus twenty goal difference. That should be the United way. We should always be outscoring the opposition, even in even you know in in games we're losing. Obviously, you can't outscore the opposition, but in the other games, we should be winning three, four nil against the lesser team. That should be what United are doing. If you can't beat the big teams and the best teams right now, you've at least got to trounce the little ones. We can't even do that. We can't even do that. So that's why our goal difference is what it is. Eric Ten Hag deserves a season without an insane injury table. I don't buy that agent with the East. I just don't buy it. I don't get it. You know, yes, okay, he has had a lot of injuries. So do a lot of other managers and a lot of other squads. And, you know, okay, we have had a lot this season. But, well, how's about you buy a squad, buy a set of players in the squad capable of actually covering then? Don't do stupid things like let Sergio Reguillon go back to the, to Spurs when we had him on loan. And we could have had him to the end of the season. Like, we have made some fucking stupid errors. Don't loan out Polistri when you've got players who are potentially fucking, you know, getting b banned or injured or, you know, like there's been... So we've let so many players go out on loan. Good young players that could have played in this team. Alvaro Fernandez or, you know, whoever. There's a lot. And then there's also, like, players we had and they get, like, Rick Weon, who could have been here for cover. It's our own fucking fault we don't have the squad. That's what I'm saying. We spent wrong money on wrong players in the summer. We should have addressed the issues we had in the squad. Instead, we signed Onana. We didn't need to get a new goalkeeper. We had David De Gea on the best in the fucking league. We signed someone worse. We needed to address the goals and the defensive stability, uh, instability and probably get a new midfielder in there as well. Um... Luckily, Maynus came through and, 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 and come on. But in the summer, we really did do badly. Ten Hag 
and the recruitment team, but ultimately Ten Hag is also signing off on a lot of these signings. They fucked it, guys, for us. They spent 60 million on Mason Mount. He's a bang average Chelsea scum, a squad player, mate. You know, whose idea was that? Spent 50 million on Inanna. Done all of this. So, you know, you know what? I, 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 no, no, you made your bed. You lie in it. You've made your fucking bed, recruitment team and Ten Hag and, man, and everybody else involved in the hierarchy. You've made your fucking bed. Lie in it. Now lie in it. That's what's happened. So don't feel bad because there's injury issues. Get a fucking squad together capable of dealing with that then. Let's, let's, let's play some youth players who are hungry then. Don't loan them out. How many fucking youth players we loaned out this season? Ridiculous. And then now, we've, now we're complaining about not having the cover. It's a fucking shambles is what it is. What, whose decisions were they? Reguillon back to Spurs in Jan. What? What? Just to save a few quid? You cheapskate money grabbing glazer bastards. You know? What? Rather than just have him around in case we need him, which turns out we do. Fucking ridiculous, mate. Don't even get me started. We are piss poor when it comes to the planning of... It's everything. I'm sorry, but you can't... Nah. I don't care about the fact we've got injuries. We should have the cover for it. It's our own fault. It's our own fault. Uh, right. Indicate Injuries can often indicate poor training too. Yeah, exactly. Ruba says Pig is right. Yes. And why not have the depth there? Other teams have got the depth. Look, City have got two starting 11s better than ours, for fuck's sake. I know they've spent a lot of money, and they've got the money, and they've spent the money. We've spent a lot of money too! How do we not have two great teams? It's my point, but Glazer's out, not Ten Hag. The cycle just repeat. Yeah, no, true. Fair enough. But Ten Hag's shite as well, lad. Because if he was actually a good manager, he'd be getting better out of this team of players. So, yeah, the Glazers have got him a shit team of players, but he'd be doing better if he was a better manager with this shit team of players. It's just true. I saw Ollie do it. I saw Ollie do it for a couple of seasons, so why can't he? Right, Showbiz Live's about to get us underway for the second half here for Liverpool. It's infuriating. Second half's about to kick off then, guys. Showbiz Live's going to do it here. Ten Hag come out. He's late. To, he's late out the tunnel. He's applauding the fans. He's late out the tunnel. Why? He just needed to buddy have a number two or something. Why is he late out? Why is he late out? Fucking Ten Hag late out, mate. Lazy bastard. Super strap from Stuart. Oh, shit. Sorry, I missed that. Let's go scroll up. Sorry, I missed that, Stuart. There's a lot of messages coming in here, mate. I apologize. Let me try and find it here, my friend. Stuart. Which Stuart? Stuart Zekman or Stuart Stormtrooper Waller or a different Stuart? Let's find out. Hang on a second. Let's scroll up here. Fucking hell, where is it? Oh, there it is. Stuart Zekman, you legend. Thank you, Stuart Zekman, my friend. Dude, $20 super chat. Suey. Thank you very much, Stuart Zekman. That's very kind of you, mate. Oh, shit. Nice chance. Yeah, cleared away by Maguire. Hey, Stuart Zekman, thank you so much. He says, neutral in New York City here. It's shocking, to be honest. Do you see any organisation out there? No. Seems Liverpool are so casual, wasteful, arrogant, that a moment or two of inspiration could win it for you. But where is any structure? You're right, it's not like Liverpool have turned up particularly well today either. They've still had a million chances and should have had four goals, but it's not like they've really, they really looked that great. I mean, certainly there's a couple of moments we've had where if we'd have, you know, just capitalised on, we, we, we could not even be losing this game right now. But, yeah, I don't know, to be honest with you, boss. I don't really know. I think there is no organisation. I think what is the biggest fundamental issue is the lack of communication out there and the lack of understanding of what they're trying to do. And that falls down to Ten Hag, really. Yeah, the players are shy, but they're working throughout the week in training on how to play and how to set up and how to be organised. That first half performance was shockingly bad in terms of organisation. So, yeah, I don't think there is, mate. Thank you so much for your super chat, by the way, there, Stuart, lad. Look, let's just hope you're a neutral. Let's hope, you know, let's hope for a banging second half here with lots of goals from Manchester United. That's, that, that's what everybody Get wants to see there, today. Son. We just want to see Liverpool get tucked up. All the City scummers in here want to see that. All the Arsenal scummers in want to see that. You know, that's what he wants to see. And that's what we're hoping for. But is it really actually going to happen? It's doubtful, but it could happen. So fucking come on, United. Let's try and be positive here. But that first half was dreary, man. Yeah, exactly. You can't be expensive and progressive and dominate games. You can't do the basics. Exactly, lad. Shit, we've given them, given them another chance here. Ball into box. Maguire only as far as Darwin Pudas who gets a shot on goal. Onana with another eight save. Casemiro needs to get it away. He's talking on it. He's been challenged, but it is cleared away finally. Now Rashford looks to bring it on the counter. Go on, Rashford! Rashford with, the, with pace down the left. He's done very well. 
Can he get it back across? Go oh, on. No, he can't, mate. No, he can't, bro. No, he can't. Hoyland was waiting there at the back stick. There was options in there. Rashford, it was a nice run, but he just couldn't get the ball in. It was just uh, blocks coming in on goal there. And Mate, Liverpool have undone us there. It's a great last-ditch tackle there at the back, though, by Kambwala. He's looked good today so far, Kambwala. I mean, he's up against it. He's in a real tough game here against, you know, established teams and men. And he's just like a fresh-faced sort of player who's... Fresh safe sort of player who's been chucking there. He's actually having some of his slide tackles and stuff have been majestic today, to be fair to the guy. I am feeling better than last night, Taniola, definitely. Tommy Boyle says recruitment is garbage. We were, were locked with Jack Poe, Graham and Birch, but both went to Paul. Why? Yeah, they recruited McAllister. And, uh, dude, it's for years. It's a pattern, isn't it? Yeah, they went there. Absolutely. Uh, Ruben Diaz went to City. Uh, Julian Alvarez, we could have had him for a few pounds. We literally could have had him for a few pounds at one point. We said no. Ragnick even said we wanted he wanted Julian Alvarez. But he was told no by the board, you know. So, yeah, the board are fucking shite, guys. Can we please just get some fucking hashtag glazers out in there for these wankers? The time has come to get these yank bastards out of our football club. Come on, United. And shout out to the cake cadet in the chat there. You said it better than ever I ever could. Respect to you there. Uh, Manny Snooflacky, dude, Manny, how you doing, my friend? Gash, zero attempts, zero shots on goal, zero expected goals, 100% gash. Well said, mate, well said, well said. And, and, and every other aspect of our play has been gash as well. It's not just the creating of chances that's gash. Defensively vulnerable all over the place. Should have listened to Uncle Ralph, 100%. Ralph Rennick was just too real for the Glazers. Yes! Oh my god, what have I just witnessed? Bruno Fernandes has just scored from near the bloody halfway line! <laughs> oh my god! It's fucking majestic! Dudes! He spotted Keller off his line! It's a bad clear and out! And Bruno Fernandes has hit it first time with an absolute banging shot! What a bit of technique! By Bruno! Oh my god! <laughs> what a goal! Just like that, he's undone a bad 45 minutes for himself and Manchester United. It's fucking unbelievable! What a bit of technique by Bruno, hit it first time, look! Shocking play the back by Liverpool! <laughs> they just gifted us the chance! Bruno hits it first time, oh my god! It's absolutely unreal, what a hit! It's a hit to perfection, he's just sort of dinked it, he's hit it with power but almost dinked it at the same time just to get it up and over the keeper and under the bar it's fucking amazing mate, it's just fucking amazing <laughs> football, bloody hell come on United, come on United we're back in this one come on United, what a goal what a big mistake in the back there by Liverpool and what an unbelievable hit by Bruno, that was fucking magic Oh my god. <laughs> Where did that come from, eh? Look, Liverpool have shattered, but it still takes some piece of skill to get that over and under the, you know, and perfectly in the back of the net there. That's fucking lovely. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. And now that just gives Liverpool that, you know, that, uh, that twitchiness. Now it gives Liverpool that twitchiness here. Mate, that was absolutely epic from Bruno. What a finish, guys. I can't believe it. Wow, Zorinho's. That was sick. That was absolutely sick by Bruno Fernandes, guys. He's had a shit game so far, but that was magic. Wowzers. Cambuana fired up, lad. Maguire's like, calm down, but Cambuana doing bits out here. Mate, thank you, Zane Miassi, for the super chat. He's loving it over here, Zane Miassi, lad. Yes, you're welcome, Zane. We might be doing you a favour today. We'll see. We might be doing you a favour. Possibly. There's only 40 minutes left. It's 1-1 at the moment. Anything can happen in this game. We might be doing you a favour, you Arsenal scummers a favour. It wasn't really a lucky goal, was it, Kyle? Nothing lucky about it. It was pure class from Bruno. I'll tell you what it was. It was fucking gastastic, wank, pathetic, absolute melty mistakes from your defence, though. <laughs> That's what it was. Nothing lucky about it. It's just absolute fucking gift from you, Melts. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go on then, boys. We've got another chance here. Rashford, come on, United. United look buoyed by that. Goal going in. It looks like we've got a new fresh breath of life in us here. Here we come. Garnacho. Garnacho shot on goal. 
Oh, deflection takes it over. Looks like it would maybe dip in over the keeper, but over the crossbar. It's a corner now for United. One shot, one goal. That's a 100% success record. <laughs> Pure class. Yes, Peter Pye. One shot, one goal. It's all the way from the freaking centre circle. This is ridiculous. Yeah. That was mental, wasn't it? What? What an awesome finish by Bruno Fernandes. Go on then, corner in. We look good so far. Coming out, second half. Oh, header goes wide left, but Rashford's going to keep it in. United, good bit of pressure here. Coming out, second half. Rashford gets a dangerous ball in. Oh, Killer has just got a... It was a great delivery in by Rashford. It was like a cross-come shot. He's just asked the question... Looking for the runners in the six-yard box there. Casemiro so close to it. He almost gets his boot on it, but he just quite, can't quite. And then Kelleher palms it away. Maguire can't quite react to it. It's it's good. It's, it's a good ball in by Rashford, that. Great ball in. Alejandro Garnacho now. Gives the ball away. Chance for Liverpool on the break now. It was lie. Diaz at the back stick. Oh! <laughs> Shart when Puna's living up to his sharting name there. He's missed an absolute sitter. He's missed an absolute sitter. Shocking defending again by United, though. Awful. They've broken on us so quickly and easily there. There's literally two players back against five white Liverpool shirts. It's fucking awful defending. But... You know, border the back stick. Nunes just has a simple tap in, really, and he's absolutely bottled it. He's absolutely bottled it, mate. We're so lucky. Shocking piece of defending by United again, though. Absolutely awful. This is what I'm talking about. Why this United side is the worst defensive side I've ever seen in my life? Because you just, 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 there's just no organize. There's no stability from us whatsoever when we lose the ball. We're, we're, we're all over the place. They have no positions. The players have no positions. Very, very, very dash finish there. Soldier says, come on, United, from a South African gooner. Get in there, my son. Missed your super chat. Sorry, sorry, Caleb. Let's try and find it here, boss. Let's just try and find this, boss. Um, sorry, there's lots of messages coming through here. I'm trying to find it here. Uh, Caleb, work. I'm so sorry, mate. I can't find it, boss. Let me go over to YouTube studio here real quick. See if I can find it real quick. Oh shit, another chance for Liverpool. It's out for a corner again to Liverpool. Caleb Worker says, do you think Onana could have done better? Uh, sorry I missed that there, Caleb. And also Charles Tyler, sorry I missed your, your super chat. It says, United, pull your thumb out. Dad and I are Arsenal fans. Shout out Charles Tyler. Shout out to you, you and your old man there. Um, Caleb Worker says, do you think Onana could have done better? No, not really. Onana's had a great game today, mate. He's been a little bit ropey this season, but nah, he's looked a bit better. He's had a good game today. He could be 4-5-1 at this stage if it wasn't for Onana, to be honest. Onana's had a great game. Also, Nut. Sorry, Nut. I missed your con I missed your comment as well. Nut. Sorry, I missed your comments all over the place. Nut says, right now, I'm Ten Hag. Stay until the end of his contract. Um, but we should start looking for our next manager and take our time and get the right one. Hey, I respect that, Nut. Yeah, I'm staying until the end of the season and then do one at the moment. That's where I'm at. But I respect your take on it, dude. I do. Salah now. Down the right. So bad defensively again by United here. Caught sleeping, caught sleeping, caught sleeping. They're going to have a chance. Chance for Liverpool. Shot on goal. Thankfully blocked away. Crikey. We can't get broken on like that. That's just the way it goes, Kate Cadet. It's how we have defended all season long. Snoozed on the pool goal and large amount of turnover. Axel Foley says, come on, United, do us Gunas a solid. We're trying, aren't we? We're trying to help you here. We're absolutely trying to help you here. 
I'd much rather you wankers won, to be honest, than uh, than anybody else. So uh, yeah, like like I said, it's a triple whammy this game. There's that United Liverpool rivalry. That's why we want to win it. We want to win it because it stops Liverpool having a good chance of winning the Premier League as well, or at least hurts them a little bit. And um, the other reason we want to win it is because uh, what was the other reason? <laughs> just because, just you know, there's two big reasons there. <laughs> but um, yeah, oh yeah, for our own points, that's why. <laughs> for our own possible Champions League qualification, which isn't looking too good at the moment. Go on then, boys. Bruno Fernandes over to the left. Rashford. Good ball in by Rashford. Oh, Hoyland just coming across it, looking to glance one with his head, but he can't quite connect to it, and Kelleher gathers it. We're looking much better here, Orlando. Yes, good second half so far. Dude, Manny, I feel you. Manny and I have given me so much pain over the years. This year, I started not feeling the pain anymore. Ah, oh, dude, Manny. That's kind of sad, isn't it? That's kind of sad. All good, depending on which way you look at it. I don't know. Oh, what the hell? Liverpool again. Well done, Kobe Mainu. Excellent defending by Kobe Mainu. Puts his body on the line, gets the leg in there, gets it away. What's up there, Merciless? 100% shots on goal. Absolutely, yep. Tenag should make the first early sub here and go for the winner. Good shout, the mustard. It's amazing the criticism Haaland gets and Nunes gets less of it with his performances as Stuart Alderson. Well, I mean, the criticism of Haaland is, is, in my opinion, some of it's justified, but some of it's obviously stupid. Ultimately, he is a phenom of a goal scorer. But he is lacking in a lot of his overall other parts of his play, you know? So you can't deny that ha Haaland scores a lot of goals for City, but it's not like he's great in build-up or anything. It's not like Kane dropping deep, linking up play, any you know, of that business. No. So he's not a complete footballer by any means, but he is a good goal scorer. Great goal scorer. Which is what you want your striker to do, if you ask me, the most important thing. Really, it's the most important thing. No, well, I did actually, Tony Stuka fan, have a pre-match dump. Just not during the intro of this. Just not, just not, just not publicly. That's all, mate, you know. But I did. Yeah, it's part of my routine, lad. <laughs> Any darts tonight? I don't know, Mr. Legit, lad. Who knows? Possibly Mr. Legit. Right, so I'm going to just ask you guys to uh, give us a subscribe to the gaming channel. If you're not subscribed to the gaming channel, we do darts over there. We play subscribers at darts. We also play FIFA and other games. If you're not subscribed to the gaming channel, you should probably go over there and subscribe as well. It's my second channel. Uh, I'll put the link in the live chat here. Please do give us a follow up on the gaming channel. It's called Flying Pig Gaming. Sub here. Boom. Uh, I'll put the link. There it is. I'll put it to the top of the chat. Trying to grow that channel as well a little bit there. Um, if you're not subscribed to the gaming channel, go over and subscribe to Flying Pig Gaming. Nice one. So. Are we going to see any substitutes by Ten Hag soon? I wonder. Probably not. Solid defensively there again. Kambala doing well. Onana clutches it. Wow, that's brilliant, Eddie. We've had 764 people like the video. Thank you all of you for hitting the thumbs up button. Yes, hit the, hit the like if you haven't done. Smash that like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And all of that jazz. Cheers, Eddie. We need Scotty right now. Thank you, Robotic Maniac, for subscribing, boss. Nice one. Sorry about missing all those super chats there, by the way. I melted. Absolutely melted. Ian McKenzie, welcome in today, bro. Um, Manny says, do you also play Bocky and Scrabble? Boggle, do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. And Scrabble on your other channel as well, Pig. I see you, Mr. Big. Diversifying the gaming channel. There you go. Um, No, I don't actually. But, you know, I wouldn't rule it out, Manny. I would not rule it out. Super, super chat. Hang on. Great opportunity on the count of United, possibly. Uh, Rashford's been challenged there. It's out for a throw to United. Hey, uh, YZ7IK4R. Thank you very much again here, bro, for the... Well, I don't even know what that is, mate. 100,000 something, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? That is that's That's serious right there. It's a hundred thousand or something. I don't know what it is, but it's fucking awesome. Thank you so much, Y7Z, for that, lad. Get in there. Let's get some love in there for him. He says, Pig, here are my arguments on why Manchester United should be purple. One, why Manchester should be purple. It's a mix between Man United and Man City's colours. Two, it's the colour of the University of Manchester.
You what? Are <laughs> you talking about Manchester Purple for me? Manchester... What the fuck are you talking about? Obviously, Manchester is red. It's going to take a shitload of time for Man City to change that, to be fair. They've only slightly tinged one corner, lad. Do you know what I mean? Look, how many Premier League titles have Manchester United got? How many Champions Leagues have we got? They'd be, they'd be making me laugh, I said. And it shouldn't be a mix between blue and red. That's preposterous. It's red. Manchester is red. That's the colour we associate with Manchester, mate. Eh? You're talking about University of Manchester. He gives a shit about the University of Manchester, mate. <laughs> Get in there though, Y7. I love that thinking outside the box mentality though. I do. I love that, Y7 said, mate. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, it's been a bit better today, Ian. Be feeling much better if we can get the job done here. So, uh, what do you think this game finishes like then, guys? What what's your prediction now? So my prediction at the start of the game was 1-1. That was actually my prediction, a draw, a 1-1 draw. That was my prediction. It's looking like quite likely at the moment with only half an hour left, but look, somebody's probably going to win this game. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. I don't know. I'm going to stick with 1-1, actually. I'm going to stick with 1-1. I say no more goals today now. Man has the imagination for sure. He really does make Y7Z coming in with that pure imagination. <laughs> yeah? Uh, no, thank you. Ezio Auditor, 3-1. Yeah, yeah, Lorenzo says 3-1 United. 2-1, 3-1. 1-0, 2-1, 1-0. -1. Yeah, exactly. Rashford down on the ground here. Has he picked up an injury here? Looks like he might have done. He's looking a little bit dejected. He might be all right. I don't know. I think Anthony Dos Santos is coming on for an injured Rashford here, guys. Rashford's down, I think, and he might have to be subbed off for Anthony here. Anthony's quickly having to get stripped off and warmed up here. Um, Mrs. P, what's your score prediction? 1-1 one, one, with half an hour left. 2-1 to, to, to United, she says. They call her Mystic Mrs. P because she predicts these things. Oh, nice, nice. So we're having that instead of the Chinese tonight, are we? Yeah, that's just me, that one. Right. Oh, Well, that's good then. Yeah. Wonderful. Right, so have they just subbed Rashford off, guys? I th Liverpool just making some subs. Jones coming on for Shobas Lai. Um, yeah, we are, yeah. Rashford's off, guys. Anthony Dos Santos, who had a great game against Chelsea, to be fair to him. Probably the best game we've seen from him since the first week he joined United when he was banging those goals in. Um, yeah, he was very good in the last game against Chelsea. Let's hope for a full-blooded half an hour here from the lad. You're going to say 2-1 to United. Anthony for the goal. Go on, Jim Watkins. Yeah, man, he's certainly looking uh, bang up for it these days. I've never had an issue with Anthony's effort levels. That's one thing I'll say about him. He's always worked hard while he's been in the team. He's not always played particularly well, but he's always worked hard. So, yeah, you're going to get that from him, at least. Sly, thank you for the 199 Super Chat here, Sly. Hey, oh, Adrian, I did it! He says, it seems the centre-back Quanza plays too much FC24. <laughs> oh, we're getting there, Sly. Hey, oh, Adrian, if I can change, and you can change, everybody can change. Go on, Sly, thanks for that, dude. We got we got roast oh roast dinner for later oh lovely what's everyone else having for dinner tonight? <clears throat> JT coming in raw with a comment here says you're an idiot if you think our defensive the problem we have a minus one. Oh! <laughs> Can't be Manu has scored an absolute fucking rinse to the top right bins my son. <laughs> It's a fucking beautiful strike! Mate, what were we saying about this lad, Kobe Maynou, being absolutely ready-made already at 18 years of age? And being a ready-made senior player for us, he's only a kid! And he's just stepped up and banged an absolute beauty in! And given us the lead here! What, what a finish! The goals United have scored today, yes, we've not been great in terms of creating chances, but the chances we have created... Fuck me! Look at these two goals, Bruno Fernandes' unbelievable strike at it, and that one from Kobe's just top draw! What a goal! What a goal! 
just on the edge of the box, cuts back inside, gets on his right boot, gets the half yard, and just curls one majestically into the top right bins. You don't stop those if you kill her. It's just too good. It's too good from Cobby Manu there, guys. It's absolutely ridiculous. Get in there, my son. Come on. Yes, guys, we're battering these scousers. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, United! Yes, mate, let's go! Oh my god, this is fucking majestic! This is absolutely majestic! Yes, guys, what a goal that was by me, it was ridiculous! It was absolutely ridiculous! What a strike! Oh my goodness me, we've had two shots and two goals! <laughs> By the way, whoever was speaking earlier and said that if you think the reason we're uh, not doing well is because of our defence, you know nothing about football, you melt. <laughs> you know what I mean? Blatantly, our defence is fucking awful, lad. You're talking shite. Um, <laughs> what a goal that was, by the way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was insane. 2-1. 2-1 to United there, guys. 2-1 to United. It's just unbelievable. I don't even... We've uh, we've got two insane goals. We've just scored, Mrs. P. Did you not hear me? Yeah, we scored. It's 2-1. Your prediction's coming true at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I've sorted out now. Scoreline sorted now. Thank you, guys. Get in there, you guys. Menu is just unbelievable, isn't he? So you can do it all this, kid. Not only is he great, like, box to box... Great defensively sitting in front of the back line. Great, you know, on the ball, passing. Great with his feet. He can also fucking strike one as well. I mean, that was just absolute picture perfect. In terms of, like, you know, that classic bending effort to the top bins. It don't get much better than that. It's absolutely insane. Uh, the cake that says, you love to see it, Piggy. Thank you, Cobby. Thank you very much to Cobby Manu. What a bloody hero. What an absolute hero. He's had an insane season. He's broken through into this side and he's already established himself as a as a proper, proper player, you know. Proper player. It's unbelievable. He's ice in his veins, mate. The composure for such a long, young lad is mental. Yeah, look how he took those opportunities for England as well when he was given those chances. Basically shone in both of those games. I think you're right. He's got ice in his veins. He just steps up. He doesn't, he's not phased by any of these games. Like he's playing Liverpool here in a massive game for United and he's stepping up. It's just so beautiful to see. What a goal and what a player. Absolutely. Menu must be protected. So true. He's something special. Klopp has lost it. <laughs> Super. <laughs> if the camera's on him now, he doesn't look too happy, mate. They need to score two goals to keep their league and hopes alive, mate. <laughs> Yes, it's very unlikely. Liverpool's Champions League, sorry, Premier League dreams in doubt right now. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yes, Kate Cadet, you love to see it. Cobby Maynard doing bits. Hey, Fat Chinese Gaming, how have you been, mate? Glad to see United are winning. Maynard, surely a future star. Big time, current star and future star. He's insane. Get in the omen. Klopp's like a lunatic. <laughs> Oh, yeah, big time cake it out, big time. Okay, here is Alejandro Garnacho cutting side shot. Oh, goal, corner for United. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. We're playing some good stuff here now, finally. He's like the new Paul Ince. I said that a couple of weeks ago, Tommy. I agree. Stuart Segman, thank you for the $5 super chat. Says, well, well, well. A moment or two of inspiration it is. Very much the case. I mean, people have been calling us, you know, uh, individual brilliance FC for a while, but that's what separated the two sides today is individual brilliance from two of our players. You're right. Just moments, just moments doing it. The team's temporary shot, but the club has always will be filled with the spirit of the bear. Oh, so true, John. Like, this is the greatest club in all the land. The greatest club in all the world. It's just in a bad period due to mismanagement from our owners. You know, that's really what's going on. Kenneth Kernan, thank you for the super chat. Says Klopp, salty tears are delicious. Come on, United. Thank you, Kenneth. They are tasty, aren't they? Nothing tastier than a cloppy tear, lad. Very true. That's fucking brilliant, guys. I'm loving that. Um, United are great at holding on to one goal lead. <laughs> you had to go there, didn't you? Muchel says, Liverpool fan I work with will be crying. Come on, that's awesome, Muchel. Thanks for the tip there as well, boss. That's fucking awesome, lad. <laughs> Well, actually, let's just, not, let's, just, let's just not get too carried away here, man. We know how this goes sometimes lately for United. Let's not get too carried away. 
Because look at that Chelsea game. I mean, there's still plenty of time left in this. There's 20 minutes to go. I mean, I do think that United can definitely get a draw from this now and we should be looking to win this game. We've actually definitely been the better side in this second half. We're winning the game. There should be no excuses here not to win this game, in all fairness. But even if Liverpool do come at us and play well last 20 minutes and create, it's hard, it's, it's hard to think that they're going to score two. Hoyland, chance for United again! Go on, Joe! Saved by Kelleher! Come on, United! Yes, this is more like it! Yes, United! Finally, we're playing some stuff on the, on uh, you know in this one. It's another mistake at the back by Liverpool. Holding on to it, plays a nice ball in down the left to uh, Garnacho. Garnacho shot and goal is saved. But this is much more like it from us. Sydney says, "I love Arsenal. Thank you, Manchester United. Yeah, you Arsenal scummers, you owe us one. You owe us one for this at the moment." Yes, Tonk Nash. Thank you, bro. Says Pig My G. We better not shit the bed though. Only seventy minutes. Yeah, no, true. Oh no, let's let's, let's just not count our chickens before they hatch. It's a good point. A lot to happen left. A lot to happen left. Plenty of time left, but watching all the scousers whinging is hilarious. <laughs> Catching there, Justin. Have you noticed how the viewers have gone down a little, a couple of hundred since the, with the, the, the goal went in? Bye-bye, scousers! <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> Get in there, my son. By the way, incidentally, if you are here, though, for the first time, smash the subscribe button, hit the like button on it. Twat that like button. Oh, you know it. <laughs> Chassie Singh, thank you for the $2 super chat as well. He says United has this game in the bag now. It's ours for the taking, isn't it? We, we're in the driving seat, mate. It's 2-1 to us. So unless things super crumble, super yeah, chat. it's looking all right at the moment. But there's still plenty of time left. I mean, look at that Chelsea game, mate. We were literally winning the game 3-2 in the 99th minute. And look what happened. We lost 4-3. So it's never over till it's over. These guys need to stay super concentrated now. Defend like lions for these last 16 minutes and hopefully snatch one on the counter or something. That's what we need to do. Um, if we can stay organised and, 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 and do that, we win the game. Yeah, Adrian, I mean, he had two defenders there. Closing him down. Stevie G for the Liverpool draw. That would be lovely. Please make it happen. Sadly, I think they're probably going to get Xabi Alonso next, aren't they? Another one in the Stretford and we're exploded. Go for it, United. Oh, uh oh. Yes, Gakpo shat it and it's out for a goal kick to United. Beautiful Jay Chapman. 832 likes. Nice one. Klopp losing his rag as per tit. He's a tit, isn't he? No. Back to your dustbin to the poor. <laughs> Kambala really solid today. I know he's had a great match, hasn't he? Great match. Some of the challenges from him have been majestic as well. Uh, Stephen Shipman, you legend. This is a beautiful late birthday gift. It was Tuesday. Worth the wait. Mate, happy birthday to you, Stephen Shipman, boss. Did we even wish you a happy birthday on your birthday? I can't even remember now. Let's get some late happy birthdays in there for Stephen Shipman, my friend. Uh, maybe we did. I can't remember now. You said 5-1 for United. <laughs> Go on, Manny. Love that. Fletch the Scouser, stick your treble up your ass. <laughs> Dumped you twats out the FA Cup. Handing you a big killer blow in your title challenge. Fucking suck it, Liverpool. You know, how's that treble looking now? <laughs> Oh, it's fucking majestic. Susan Knowlton, yes. Happy birthday, the legend, Stephen. VAR still not had their chance to shaft us yet. That's a good point. wan heads that one clear. Ball in from the left. Volley on goal. It's taken a deflection. Well done, Andre Onana. I thought we were going to have another Cole Palmer incident all over the place then. A gas shot with a deflection. Takes it past Onana, but he's made a great reactionary save. It was luckily, luckily it's hit Maguire's inside of his leg and it's deflected towards goal and Onana has saved it. It's a good save by Onana. Onana's had a cracking game tonight, guys. He's had an absolute cracking game. He really has. He really, really has done. He can't have done much more than he's done tonight for us. He's been brilliant. Scouser's arrogance before this game was unreal. Yeah, it always is. <laughs> oh. Pig, you legend. Hey, Dusan, what's happening? P Dusan Panajatovic, I appreciate you, my friend. Well, you're a bit of a melt, Mr. Wondering Haggis, if you don't think we should be happy that our club, Manchester United, are now winning after we were losing. You can't get away from the fact that this team, this season, has been absolutely unacceptable and a lot of the players in here are shy to need to go. But of course we're going to support our team, you know, to try and get the victory, mate. You know, goodness me. You know, it's like, I still don't think Ten Hag's the right guy for the job. But if he does 
gets the job. If he turns this game around in terms of the half second half performance, then he's done his job at half time. He's not done his job for the whole season, which is why it doesn't change my mind. But you've got to just say these players have had a fucking good second half so far, mate. First half, they were crap. Second half, this has been great. It's been good from United. We've looked the better team out of the two by far. And we have had a turnaround. So, you know, there's nothing thicker about it, mate. When you're 1-0 down and you're losing and your team's playing like shite, you can say so. And when they turn it around and they come back and they start playing better, you can also say so. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing turncoat about it, you melt. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> obviously we always support the team it's Manchester United this club that we want to see do well that's what we that's the whole point that's what we uh, that's what it's all about <sighs> thank you Paul S says can you play yesterday by the Beatles on guitar for the Paul fans in the chat <laughs> 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 love that <laughs> maybe at full time lad <laughs> Yes, what a save by Onana and Salas missed the rebound at the top of the crossbar. Come on, it just might be United's day today. It's a wonderful save by Onana. He's had a brilliant game. Look at that. I mean, horrible chance for Liverpool. They should score here. They should score here blatantly. It's a it's a sitter. It's basically a penalty. Uh, Luis Diaz waiting in there on the penalty spot pretty much. Gets a free shot. And it's a brilliant save by Andre Onana. A brilliant save by Andre Onana. It still plays via up. It's got a big dent in it, but it still plays. Exactly, MT. Exactly, exactly. <sighs> yes, exactly. We found some, found some grit and guts at half time. May imagine if we do the Scousers twice in a row here would be just beautiful. Dump them out the cup and dump them out the Premier League title challenge. It doesn't get sweeter than that. May, maybe my own genesis. We might be winning this boss. Just maybe. Just maybe. And hopefully Jurgen Klopp's going to be leaving Liverpool at the end of the season with no trophies, mate, and no nothing. Oh, shit, I missed that. Amrabat's just come on for Garnacho. Garnacho, you what? Well, shutting up shop we are already then. So he's brought a more defensive minded physical player to just go and pack out that midfield. And um, But I'm quite surprised about Amrabat coming on, I must admit. Amrabat already looks slow and laboured. But let's hope he has a good good last 10 minutes. Chance here for Liverpool. Space down the left of them. Manny says, Amrabat hat-trick incoming. So Thank you, Darren Webber. Says, this channel is the best football channel on YouTube, mate. Thank you very much. He says, subscribe. Like, Thank you, Darren Webber. appreciate that. Shout out to you, Bunlo, as well. Sorry if I missed anyone in the chat. Chris Ween, Setsi Auditor, Michael, Dexter Plays, John Latte, you know, Fire Up, Cadence, Jimmy Watkins. Everybody, I'm sorry if I missed any of you, but welcome, everyone. It's a pleasure to have you here. Charles Tyler, thanks for the 199 Super Chat again there. Shout out to you and the old man. He says, Hag did a big job at halftime. Few stone lighter. <laughs> that's, why, that's why he came out late, wasn't it? He had to, he had to bang one out at halftime. Hey, Charles, lad, he's definitely done whatever he's done at halftime here, i.e. kicking up the arse with a wooden clog. It's worked because they come out looking like an actual team second half, whereas in the first half it was pitiful. It was actually pitiful. But he's done... I can't argue this United side looked 10 times better second half here. But I do worry about how we just, uh, you know, close up. We shrivel up towards the end of the game. here. Look, we've already done it now. He's brought Amrabat on. Instead of fighting fire with fire, now we're trying to fight fire with ice. And we might melt. That's the problem. Because, you know, you can tell the defensive mentality is just there from United right now. wan is giving away a fucking penalty, guys. He's giving away a fucking penalty, guys. Oh, for fuck's sake, not again! wan lunging in there, bro! It's a fucking ridiculous challenge by wan to be honest. What the fuck's he doing? And look, we've given the we've given them an opportunity now. It's a pen. Oh, it's fucking awful from Wambasaka. Wambasaka is the best tackler we've got in our team, but not there. What's he doing? That's not a pen. Harvey Elliott's looking for the fucking dive. He's put his leg into Aaron Wambasaka's leg. Again, it's no pen. Wait, in the replay, I just had a look. It looked awful. I swear, he's just put his leg on Wambasaka there. Are we not going to check the VAR? Uh, he's, 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 uh, we have to watch it again. I'd have to watch it again by having looked at it again from a different angle. The guy's looking for it all day long. wan just lunged in. You, it's the same shit as the other week, mate. 
It's barely any contact. It's super soft, but they've given it. You know, I mean, it's stupid from wan to lunge in like that. It is stupid. But I swear, if you actually watch it back, it looks like Elliot just puts his leg onto wan and he's dived the bastard. He's fucking dived, mate. He's looking for that all day. But wan foolish, though, foolish. Right, here is the pen. Come on, Onana, lad. So, uh, uh, Salah, it's going to be Mo Salah up against Onana. Classic bottle job for United. I can't believe how classic we are at bottling things like that. Another fucking penalty. Another fucking... It's windy. The ball's blown all over the penalty spot. That's going to make it a little bit harder here for, for Salah. Uh, here he comes. Mo Salah. Mo Salah. Mo Salah. Steps up against Andre Onana. Come on, Andre. Mo Salah steps up. He's going to take the penalty now. Salah penalty! Oh, for fuck's sake, guys, there it is. Mo Salah has got the bloody pissing gastastic wanky fucking equaliser against us right there. From the spot, and it's so easy for them to do so because we just gifted them that fucking chance with a shambolic piece of defending by Wambasaka. I still think that the VAR should have been consulted and checked, though. What is the matter with this fucking game when they don't choose to look at the VAR, you know, it's there for a reason, they just pick and choose when to look at it, I'm telling you now, if they go back through that with the fine tooth comb and have a look at that replay again, they they find it hard to see any sort of contact from wan there, it's Elliot looking for the fucking contact, he's put his leg into Aaron wan so again, the officials have fucked us over in a way, look, we can't complain too much because it is, it is it's, it's a reckless, it's reckless as you like from Aaron wan you shouldn't be giving the ref that decision-making chance, but I must have to, I have to say that I do think, again, if we watch that back, again, I think it's a soft pen. We've been done with soft penalties in the last couple of games big time. And that's another one, if you ask me. It was a foolish lunge in by wan but if you actually go back and analyse the contact, there's fuck all. And Harvey Elliott looking for it, mate. <sighs> Shit. And now we've got to worry about losing the bastard game here. Do you know what? Can I just say this for a second here? Yes, Ten Hag's done good in this uh, half-time change of this team. And obviously the mentality second half is totally different. He's obviously motivated them and kicked them up the arse or whatever he's done at half-time. But, you know, that whole Amrabat substitution there, it's so fucking negative. Taking off Garnacho there, we, we've, we've literally decided for the last 10 minutes we're just going to sit back and defend. And when you do that, you are just inviting chances onto you non-stop. And that's exactly what we've done. It's like a flick of a switch there from Ten Hag. We've got 10 minutes left. We're winning. Let's fucking go defensive and sub You know, it's fucking bullshit, mate. It is. We should be trying to score the third, not just trying to see out the 2-1. Fucking wank bags, that. Classic. Classic wank bags, that. We've bottled it. Yeah, yeah, defenders can't make challenges now. I know, the game's gone soft, mate. None of these none of these are are penalties in the last two, three, the last two games that we've had, and we've had three penalties. I don't think any of them, any of them are actual penalties. VAR's the reason I've watched way less football. It's fucking awful, isn't it, Manny? Yeah. Doesn't even get the right decision, boss. And they only consult it when they choose to. It's like, yeah, oh no, I'm sure about that decision, so I'm not going to consult it, even though your decision's gash. Thank you, Oratile Mashigo says, love your channel. Hope you guys win today from a big Arsenal fan. Get in there, my son. I mean, you Arsenal fans will still be happy with this result if it finishes 2-2. Uh, of course you will. But you won't be as happy as if it finished 2-1 to United. And obviously, we, we need this win. We need this win, really, for top four. Mate, there's a bit of an incident here. Dallo and Neos Diaz uh, gone over the side of the pitch into the advertising hoardings there. I'll never understand why they have that. Why they have, you know, certain pitches, like certainly here at Old Trafford, they've got... They've got a dip down into the advertising hoardings. So it just goes from the pitch and then it goes down into the advertising hoardings. That's fucking dangerous, mate. Don't you reckon? Why don't they just have the same bloody level? It's like if you're running at full pelt, you've got to jump into a fucking ditch. That's mental. I never understand that. Shout out to your friend Dylan, absolutely. I don't know, John. I don't really know. Is it for if it, is it for water drainage or something? I really don't know what the purpose of it is. It's fucking stupid, though, is what it is. Maguire up against Diaz. Good muscle from Mags. Done well. And there's a lot of uh, shirt pudding from both of them there. Luis Diaz and Maguire having a bit of a tussle there. Maguire doing well. Maguire doing well. Going to be a throw-in, though, for these Liverpools.
Oh, I don't know, Matt the Cat. When will we carry a win across the line? It's just something we massively struggle at, isn't it? Seeing out any sort of games. Uh, Luan France believes. How are you doing today, Luan France, you legend? Let's go. Let's get a hashtag I believe in there. I don't know, Kate. You know, we've got a bottle drop mentality, lad. Deep rooted in us, unfortunately. Can't see anything out. Go on then, boys. Hoyland. Oh, Hoyland. Amrabat fouled in the centre circle. Free kick for United. Surely a yellow card. Cynical foul on Amrabat. Yes, there it is. There is a yellow card. Jones gets the yellow card. Do you accept 2-2? I don't. Not from where we were, Jim. From a winning position and when you consider we need to win this game for hopes of Champions League qualification. This, a draw here against Liverpool has literally cemented us to failing for European, well, Champions League qualification. That's what it's done. So, no, I do not accept a, a draw here, mate. I do not accept a draw. Look, obviously, before the game, you have to say Liverpool hunting for the title, looking for revenge after that FA Cup loss. And they're a good team. They're further, on us, further, further ahead of us than the league for a reason. So you'd have to say that a draw on the face of it is not the worst result in the world. But we are at Old Trafford. We are on the hunt for top four. And it might not even be a bastard draw yet. Oh, yes. Well done. Fuck me. They had a great chance there. And it's been cut out. Good defender at the back of the end. Fucking dodgy. So, um, yeah. So it might not even be a draw yet anyway. Because, crikey, it's still time to come. And we've just gone all defensive mode for some gash reason. I don't know why here, even though we're the home side looking for Champions League. We, where's the bottle from us now? We showed half an hour of bottle after half time. Where's the bottle from us now? Come on. United have got Champions League football to try and get next season. We're only going to do that if we win this game. And even then it's unlikely. So there's no, there should be no, let's just see this out for a 2-2 draw mentality here. No. Definitely not. Harvey Elliott now down the right side. They've cut us open. They've cut us open. They've cut us open. What a great tackle that was. Was it Bruno Fernandes or somebody's got a... Mason Mount it was. Got back and got a great tackle in there. Well done, Mason Mount. Yeah, or maybe it was Bruno. I'm not sure, but it was a big tackle at the back there. And it's got it clear. Seven minutes at a time. Why did it have to be that number? <laughs> you know what I mean? Why did it have to be seven against these Scousers? That's fucking horrible. But anyway... Come on, boys. Seven minutes of our time. Let's go and get this bloody winner then. Sadly, I have to say, this only looks like it's going one way, though. You know, United have, have succumbed to Liverpool in this last 10 minutes. Once we made the change, the negative change of bringing Amrabat on for Garnacho, it's not necessarily the change in personnel, but it's the type of personnel you bring it on. It's a different sort of negative substitution. And since then, we have just gone back to the wall and Liverpool have all the chances in the world now, probably for seven minutes. To, to win the game. And I don't see United getting more chances now. Well, because we changed our mentality, clearly. Eric Tunnerhag shits his red panties again. Only one goal in it and tries to shut up shop. Yeah, precisely. I know. He had, he's done that so many times throughout his United career. Shuts up shop at 1-0. That cost us the... Um, that cost us our Champions League campaign last season, didn't it? If you remember. Casemiro's been shite. I thought he had a good first half, to be honest. But he has been shite in this second half. But he did have a good first half. There he is. He's won the tackle there. Uh, seven mins. We should be playing like we have nothing to lose. We're not contending. I mean, the reality is players like Casemiro, he's, yeah, he's getting on now. Like, it's just, these are not his best years. He was great for us for that season he first came, but he's getting on a bit now. But I don't doubt him, though. People doubt him and say that he's shite and he's finished. He's not. He's just, I just don't think he's quite meant to has got the same the same mentality as he used to. I don't think he's as hungry as he used to, you know. That's all it is. But he's still a quality player. But uh, he's not had a good time of it, no. This season's actually been quite poor from him in general. But uh, he's a quality player, though. He's a quality player. Like Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes has had a pretty shit season by his standards. Let's be real. Like, hit or miss is the, is the description I'd use. Sometimes good, but a lot of the time just garbage. But I don't doubt that he's a fantastic quality player. I know Bruno's a quality player. And in the right system, with the right teammates, at the right moments, he could be one of the best players in the world. I truly believe that. That's a great tackle, that. It's a great tackle by Mason Mount. Gets a yellow card. Just stops their counter. Great cynical tackle. Lovely stuff. Takes one for the team there, Mason Mount. Well done. <clears throat> Mm. 
chance for Liverpool. Elliot cross goal. Wamba Saka now gets his head up. Shame for Wamba Saka that whole incident with the penalty. It really is. Do you reckon that was a pen or no pen, guys? I actually think it was more of a pen than the two ones that were given in Chelsea in the Chelsea game. But I still don't think it was a pen. I still don't think it was a pen. When you watch it back and you see that Elliot puts his leg onto Wambasaka and not the other way round, I feel like he's just looking for it all day. It was soft. It was soft at, at the very least. And it was actually more of a pen than those two ones that were given against Chelsea. Oh my goodness me, it's just fallen for Diaz on the edge of the six-yard box. He should make it 3-2 and he's binged it over the top of the bin, top of the crossbar for us. Thankfully for us. Look, Amrabat and Anthony. Anthony just getting stuck in there, having an argument with the ref there. Amrabat calms him down. Well... I mean, maybe it was, maybe it was. Hamster's under 100% clear pen. Cake says it was a pen piggy fucking Wamasaka stuck in like he, he lunged in like a fool, I agree. But did he really, you know, did he really um, take him out? Not really, no. He's just literally, it, Elliot puts his leg onto him, you know? So it's it's really not as, it's really not that, that clear, I don't think, personally. I mean, I'd have to watch it back, but having watched it back and saw the replay from a different angle, it looked like there was fuck all in it again. Soft, but wan made the tackle. True. I mean, it was a stupid lunge. You, you lunge in like that. It's just reckless, man. Go on, then. Anthony Dos Santos. Anthony Dos Santos! Bruno Fernandes in support. Oh, Bruno tries to feed it back through to Anthony. It's cut out the back. There's three minutes to go. Kyle Fury says, God, this result sucks for us. Yes, it does, mate. I'm glad about that. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, hopefully you don't win the league now. That would be lovely. Yeah, I agree, actually. I do agree, actually, the mustard. The Amrabat sub showed that Tenag is a coward. Just the way the, way the team changed mentality-wise when that sub happened... You can see there's a clear emphasis from Tenag to shut up shop. You're absolutely right. Smash on one if you agree that the Amrabat sub showed that Tenag's a coward. I, I have to agree. I have to agree, mate. It was it was a cowardly lion mood that should have just gone for it. Could be three one right now if we'd have just gone for it. But no, we decided to shut up shop, and it was a pussy move, lad, and it's backfired, man. I agree with you. He's Gareth Southgate in it, big time. Lots of ones coming in the chat. That, that has cost us, potentially. You'd take a point, to be fair. Ah, Kieran, yeah, we'd take a point and get Europa League football next season or bloody Conference League football. Shocking. I mean, look, before the game, as I said, we would take a point, but when you're in the winning position... Anthony Dos Santos! Oh, fed in there. He shots right down the throat of the keeper. We had a good chance there. Anthony Dos Santos can't place into the corner of the goal. It's right at the keeper. Oh, good chance, though. Good chance. Go on, then. Go on, then, United. We've won it back. Amrabat. Amrabat. Amrabat down the right. We might have one more chance. Sofyan. Oh, Sofyan with a gash pass. He's given possession away to Liverpool, and they're going to have the last chance of the game now. Oh, my God. Luis Diaz has done Dallo. They've got to have the last chance of the game now. Sloppy from Amrabat. Giving it away. Great tackle by Kobe Mainu. Oh, my God. Sorry, Casemiro. What a tackle. He's crunched Luis Diaz. Referee, calm the fuck down. He's won the ball. It was a great tackle by Cassie. He's got a yellow card. I'm surprised they didn't send him off there. Just because it's Casemiro and they fucking hate Man United. But what a tackle that was. I mean, that is a... That is a red card. <laughs> when I see it back, studs up into the ankle of Luis Diaz. That is fucking dangerous as you like. <laughs> Casemiro's a lucky, lucky boy there. Tell you what, I've seen him get a lot of red cards, most of which probably should not have been given, but that one was probably a red. <laughs> that was a blatant red, wasn't it? And he's been given a yellow there. Blatantly should be sent off for that. That was studs up late, possible leg breaker. Fucking hell, Cassie. He's got away with it, though. Got away with it. Free kick, though, for Liverpool. Are going to give them the last chance of the game. 
Elliot. Good stop, Andre Onana. Elliot shot on goal, Andre Onana. There's the final whistle, guys. Look, it's just absolutely a case of... It's a case of Manchester United bottling it again. Like, okay, people will say, oh, Liverpool are a good side. They're challenging for the title and they've come to Old Trafford and, you know, you've got a draw. It's not the end of the world. No, it is the fucking end of the world, mate. Because Man United are now, basically... We're, 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 com we're completely out of the hope for Champions League football next season. And, and when you don't have Champions League football for a club like Manchester United, it's a fucking massive, massive blow. It stops us getting the players we need. It stops us keeping hold of the best players, potentially. A lot of the best players want to play for the best teams. And if United do not have Champions League football next season, then that means we're back. It sets us back two years. Two years, not one year. Sets us back two years, in my opinion. Some may say it might be a blessing in disguise, you know, but I don't feel that way. I think that this is just, we've bottled it. We've bottled it. You know, it's like we started so badly. We've worked all that, fought, fought, fought and made all that effort to get back into the game. We got back into the game. We're leading the game. And then we just decided to down tools and just go defensive and sit back. Do you know what? Ten Hag is going to get some credit for the way that we came back in, in the second half because he's obviously changed some things at half time and the second half performance was ten times better than the first half performance. But for the way he set us up and for the way that he's just uh, pussied out at the end of the game there and made those decisions to bring on Amrabat and take off Garnacho and not go for positive substitutions that could potentially give us a goal and just to try and play for the, the win when we are, you know, only 20 minutes left in the game and you're just sitting back and allowing them onto you. That's a piss poor mentality, that from Ten Hag, and he's cost us the win. There you go. Some may say that he's fought back and got us the draw. Not me. He's cost us the fucking win there with his bullshit, gashtastic, pussy mentality. That's what's happened. We could have easily gone for it. You know, could have gone for it. But no, he's made some key changes, which... And, and basically, the mentality change was clear from the players you could see. After we've got that goal, it's like, yeah, now we're just going to sit sit back and rest on our laurels. It's only one goal. You shouldn't be sitting back and resting on your laurels when you're one goal up like that at home at Old Trafford. We should be going for it. So for that reason, I'm very disappointed with this 2-2 draw. At least we didn't lose the game. Okay, at least we didn't lose and Liverpool are a good team. And at least we've done them out of potentially winning the Premier League title. <laughs> no trouble for those twats. But, you know, from our own point of view... You know, it's weak. It's weak mentality from United to be 2-1 up like that and just bottle it and, and not go for it, man. I do think we could have done a lot more there towards the end of the game. <sighs> but there you go. Man United, we're just too all over the place under Ten Hag. We're all at sea, defensively cash. You can see that first half, how defensively vulnerable we are. Liverpool all over us. Could have had four before half-time. United didn't have a single shot on goal. But we did change the way we played at half-time. We did. But it's it's the mentality of these players, again, and, and Ten Hag, that have cost us the game. That have cost us the win. We should be winning this game. But a weak mentality from the players and the manager have cost us. That's genuinely how I feel. So, uh... Very disappointed. Yeah, exactly, Gangshi. Garnacho should have stayed on. And if he's not going to bring on Garn, if we're not going to bring on, uh, sorry, if we're not going to leave Garnacho on, why don't why don't we go for a slightly more positive um, substitution rather than Amrabat? You know what Amrabat's going to give you. He is good on the ball, passing the ball around, but he's slow. He's he's you know he is kind of good compatibly defensively. He is good like that, but he's just basically mediocre really. He's average at everything. Um, and you bringing him on, changing the attacking emphasis of the team, and bringing on somebody who's more defensive-minded, Amrabat's more of a def defensive player. I, I mean, yeah, I understand it. If we're playing in, I don't know, if it's Serie A in the 1990s and you've got a 1-0 lead, okay. But the game's changed a little bit now. You've got to fucking go for it. You've got to fucking go for it. You can't leave yourself open. You can't re rely on these guys to defend for 20 minutes. So, pathetic from the lads, unfortunately, uh, the last part of the game. The half an hour after after the second half was probably the best we played in a, in a good while. It was very good. Very good intensity from us. We created good chances. You know, good individual performances in there again today. And uh, some really bad ones as well. Some really bad ones as well. Let's just get into it then. Let's talk about... So Ten Hag, as from Ten Hag's point of view, from the manager's point of view, it's a mixed bag of emotions for me today from the guy. I still think his time is up at the club and he'll be going in the summer. And that's probably what should happen because it's a mentality issue we've got. This further highlights the weakness in mentality from himself and also his team. So uh, it's a melt from him. But the players today, you know, have had some great performances out there. You have to say that Rashford's had a much better game today. Maynou with that unbelievable goal. He's had a great game again. Kobe Maynou, just an unbelievable 18-year-old talent. Doing bits. Doing bits. 
Um, you've seen great performance from, from Andre Onana. Probably takes my man of the match, actually. I've got to give my I've got to give the man of the match to Andre Onana. It's easy to overlook him, but seriously, he's barely put a foot wrong tonight, man. It could easily be it would definitely be a win to Liverpool if he wasn't on his A game tonight. Definitely would be a win for Liverpool if Onana hadn't performed so well. So Andre Onana gets man of the match for me. He he saved us the point in this game, uh, definitely. And then obviously you have to look at the goals we scored being brilliant goals. Maynou's goal was brilliant. Bruno Fernandes' goal was brilliant. Bit of a mixed bag from Bruno today, but what a finish that was from that mistake in the first half there. <sighs> Gashemiro, Gash, Gasemiro was not good today. You know, um, I'll tell you what, Maguire's actually impressed me today. You know, Maguire's impressed me today. I thought he was going to slab it up for us, but he's impressed me today. He's been good today, solid. Uh, Kambwala at the back really impressed me, actually. I've got to say, big love to Kambwala coming in there, doing bits on his sort of, you know, he's only played a few games for us this season. And this is a big start for him against Liverpool. Great opportunity. And he's, he's actually looked really good. Kambwala, some of those last ditch tackles and stuff were fantastic. So, yeah, you know, there's positives from the game, guys. We've got a point. It's just not good enough for our season. It's That's where we're at right now. We're United at Old Trafford and our mentality is weak. Our mentality is a bottle job mentality of let's just sit back and hold on to a 1-0 lead. Shouldn't be the way. We should have been trying to win that game and, and, and just put it to bed. So uh, I'm very disappointed with the end of the game. Um, I, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not exactly distraught because there were moments in the game and we should have, we could have done better and it's only finished 2 to us. I'm not absolutely distraught. But you know what? Fuck that, actually. That's the mentality of an absolute bottle job, mate. That's what Man, Man United have done to us over the last 10 years. This, this slip in standards. You know what? Fuck that, actually. This is a bollocks result because we should be getting Champions League football this season, mate. And we've bollocks that as well. We've got a negative goal difference in the league and we can't get the job done against anybody at home. You know, we're at home at Old Trafford, man. We should be the team taking them to the sword. The first 45 minutes, we've set up like a bunch of fucking puddings and it's Liverpool who are having all the chances and could have had a hat full of goals. We're fucking weak, mate. We're a weak mentality side. The manager's weak and the players are weak and combined, they are a complete set of weak belts. So that's really what it is. The standards are simply... You know, don't ever be happy with this result, guys. That's what I'm saying here. Don't ever be happy with it. 2-2 two, two against Liverpool at home. No, fuck that. Fair enough, if it's at Anfield, OK, we'd be happy with it. But no, not in the context of the season when Man United need to win to get Champions League football, potentially, and we've been so bloody hit or miss and gash. No, we do not accept it, actually. Fuck the draw. It's a gash draw. There you go. <sighs> exactly, Tony. This is Manchester United. All right, I'm going to get into the live chat, guys. Once again, everyone, hit the like. Subscribe if you're new. If you want to chat with us at the end of this game here, then make sure you hit the subscribe button. That way you can chat straight away. Twat a like it and all that. Yeah, nice. Let's get into the chat then for a bit, guys. Thank you for everyone being here watching the game with me. It's finished 2-2. Could have been worse, I suppose. But it also could have been a lot, lot better. Ruddy can't gain. Thank you for the three pound, three dollar super chat, lad. Go on. You're loving it. He's an Arsenal fan. So we've done you Arsenal fans a... Uh, a, a positive. Look, I'm happy about that. I'm happy that we've done Liverpool dirty there. Uh, we knocked them out of the cup and we've we've hurt their cha their championship hopes of winning the Premier League. I like that. You know, that's good. That is good. That's the only positive I can take out of this game. And the players, some of the players' performances, like Onana and that Maynou goal. I mean, wow. And, you know, there's some positives, but that's the only, that's the, only, that's the biggest one for me really is that we've fucked Liverpool over. <sighs> All right, let me just catch up with the chat, guys, and we'll go. We'll get into it. We'll get into it for a few minutes here. Oh shit, Sully Griffin! Thank you very much for gifting out five members on the channel. You're a legend, Sully Griffin. Thank you so much for your mad support all the time. Five new members, everyone. We got five new members. Can we please get some raw love in the chat, there, everybody? Uh, for Sully Griffin, who's just gifted out five new members on the channel. You're a legend, Sully. He's a Liverpool scummer. You know, GGs to you, Sully, and all that. What did you make of that? I mean, ugh, we could have had that, you know, but we just fucking bottled it, really. Do you think that was a penalty? I mean, I, uh, it's more of a penalty than the Chelsea game's penalties, yeah, because of wan recklessness lunging in. But is there any real contact? Has Harvey Elliott looked for it? Has he put his leg into Aaron wan -Bissaka? Yes, he has. So I still think no pen. But it's more of a pen super, than those Chelsea pens. You know, it's more of a pen than them. <clears throat> But we have been getting stitched up by officials lately, so it's no surprise. Two great goals. Yeah, two great goals. I mean, that Bruno Fernandes finish was majestic. And, and that, that Cobby Menu finish, wow, even better. 
So it's just hard to top Bruno's goal there, but I think he did it that, uh, with that Kobe Bailey effort. Nah, not really. I don't really want to keep him, Cheek, man. What have we seen from him? What have we seen from him, really, Cheek? Nah. Uh, we saw more from Sabitzer, and we decided not to keep him last season, so nah. Definitely not. Where's Zane's 50 quid super chat? Don't pay any attention to what Zane Miassi says, lad. Sally Griffin, thank you for get the $2. He says you earned that pig. Couldn't get the job done. Yeah, no, that's it. You, you know, we we, 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 there, oh, we were good in the second half, mate, up until the end. Anyway, Ars won't win it. Probably not, Cheetah. They will melt, but we've given them a, a little bit of a hand anyway. We could have put on Ahmed, Hannibal, or Gore, but another wasted game. There you go. Exactly, yeah. Could have gone for something positive, but instead he takes off Garnacha and puts an armor back. Weak, piss poor mentality, that from Tenar. What a bottled job. Uh, you have a feeling Spurs and Villa will fall short. I really would like to have a manager just, just fucking goes for it, to be honest. Too soft, in my opinion. wan should find a new club. Are you joking, man? wan has been brilliant this season. Must play. You are an absolute fucking moron, lad. <laughs> Sorry, but wan has been fucking great, man. He's made one mistake there, man. Come on. It's not like 10 mistakes in 10 games like some of these twats have done. wan has been fucking brilliant, lad. What are you talking about? He was good today as well. He just had one crazy moment of madness there. I feel for the guy. He doesn't He doesn't deserve to concede that pen there. But he's just had a, a moment of madness. That's all. He doesn't stop him being a great player. He's a fucking great player, lad. He's had a good season. He's had a good season. Uh, uh, well, brilliant might be too strong of a word. <laughs> but he's had a good season, you know. Wamba Saka, nothing wrong with him. He's a great player. Pick of the inconsistency, mind blown. Next season, kits, lovely white straight jacket. That's more appropriate, yeah. Padded cells. Yeah, they're going to turn this into a padded cell. Too soft. wan has been good. Never mind. wan has been good this season. Even though wan was stupid in that moment, I still think he's a boss defender. He absolutely is a boss defender. Oh, okay, they're showing the replay now. Look how Elliot looks for it here. What a cheating bastard. Let's have another look at this. Watch this. They're just showing it back. Now we can see a good replay. wan yeah, he shouldn't lunge in. Harvey Elliott is a diving, cheating bastard. There's no doubt about it for fuck's sake, mate. There's no way. After seeing it back twice, there's no way that's a pen! Fucking Nora! The officials have fucked us over again! But what annoys me so much is we've got VAR for a reason! If they had a look back at the VAR, they'd have seen and realised 100% that that was not a pen! Do you know what I mean? It's definitely not a pen, that. They've just shown the replay and he's not even made any contact! Harvey Elliott's put his leg into him afterwards! It's a fucking joke! Yeah, he should have got a red card. Cassie was lucky not to get sent. No pen, 100%. Yeah, after I've seen that replay, I don't care what anyone says in the chat, whether you think it's a pen or not. It was definitely not a pen. That was no pen. Like, Harvey Elliott should get a yellow card for simulation, mate, and cheating. That's what should happen. That's a no penalty. That, it wasn't a pen, Etsy. I don't care what anyone says. That last touch before the tackle was smart. Manchester is... Fuck off, mate. Any football waffle, mate. I didn't want him at United... You could see Arsenal winning the league. You know, I can't. I still think City will win it because Arsenal have got a bottle job mentality, lad. Uh, Damon says, nobody cares, mate. Shut up. Damon, you care, mate. You care, don't you, Damon? That's why you're in here right now getting triggered by what I'm saying, you fucking absolute dry lunch. You care, don't you? That's why you've gone caps letters to make sure you I see your comment, mate, because you really fucking care, Damon. You fucking pussy. Yeah, that's right. Shut up, Damon. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about you, you mean. That's right. Dirty Diver says, Daz, Eddie, uh, oh, it's great to have you with Eddie. He says, it's a, it's a pen. He's dived in the way of where Elliot can run. Players use contact. We would want that pen. I, 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 wouldn't, I, I wouldn't expect that pen if it happened the other way around. I'd expect a yellow card for my diving bastard cheating player. That's what I'd expect. Yeah, exactly, Prane. Elliot won that penalty rather than wan conceding it. Well said. Thank you, Restless Native. I appreciate you. Is a veggie sausage a sausage? Absolutely not, mate. No. Uh... But the second half, you tell Damon, uh, Damon, calm down, exactly. Thought it was at first, but having seen it again, I say no pen and yellow for simulation. Exactly, me too, Darren. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Piotr. <laughs> you think Man City will win the league? Yeah, I do too. Tell him, thank you, Cake. Should have won, but we still put a dint in the Scousers' title chances. That's true. But we've also, unfortunately, put a dint in our own Champions League qualification chances. Liverpool are cheat, shocked. You tell him, says Gungshi. Good man, calm down. Nice one, David Carroll, lad. No, it just triggers me, mate, you know. 
Damon cared enough to text us. Exactly. As long as City doesn't win the league, I'm fine. Biggest divers ever United, especially on a Fergie. Oh, shut up, Badger and 80, you absolute fucking moron. Are you joking me? Biggest divers on the Fergie? You've got to be having a laugh, bro. Bruce says super chat piggy. Okay, hang on. Let me scroll up and see if I can find this. Sorry, I missed that. Oh, thank you here, Bruce McIntosh, you legend. Thank you for the six ninety nine super chat there. Let's get some love in there for Brucey, baby. He says, Pigs, he admit it. Eric Tenard fucks up every substitution he makes. Well, I won't admit that he fucks up every substitution, but a lot of them, Bruce. A lot of them. He definitely fucked up the game with his substitutions today, boss. And he does often. So, yeah, uh, not all the time, but a lot of the time I agree, Bruce. Yeah. Uh, shocking again from him today, I think, substitution-wise. We could have been a lot more positive. If you let your leg to be caught, so you caught falling the penalty, that is a dive. I don't know if that's his game. I think that was blatantly a, a, a dive, mate. It was dive. Thank you, Martin Mason. Yeah, how you keep going, I never know. Oh, God knows, Martin, mate. God knows. If United want to get somewhere, their defence needs to be sold entirely. Tommy says, I hope the journalist that interviews Eric Tanar asked in this, do you think the change of shape when you subbed off gone actually cost you the three points today? Precisely, I know. Then sticks the nut on the board, Melter Twat. Glasgow <laughs> Kisson! Good show. <laughs> nah, he's bottled it tonight. That's exactly it. You know, we changed things after the substitution. We've bottled it, mate. We were actually being really effective and they didn't have an answer for us in the first half an hour of the second half because we were going for it. But then we changed it. Man of the match today. Oh, it's got to be Andre Onana, man. It's easy for me, for United's point of view. Yes, you know, Gunnach has had a good game. Uh, um, you know, uh... Kempwala, Maguire, uh, Bruno scored that goal. Uh, Kobe Mainu stood out as well. But really, it's got to be Andre Onana. He's definitely the man of the match for me. He's had a great game. Let's face it, Liverpool should win this game if it wasn't for some big saves by Andre Onana. Andre Onana's had a mad game. Great game. Great game. Solid as a damn rock. Onana, manager, man of the match, sorry, yep. Yeah. Kempwala, easy. Kempwala's very good also, yeah. Very good. Nunes was United's best player. Oh... What a shame we didn't win. The main new goal was insane. I agree. Oh, Nana was decent there. He was very good. Credit where credit's due. He was very good. Yeah. Oh, what a goal that was by Cobby. Danny Plungeflower. Uh, everyone have a good night. Hey, thank you, Eddie's Football Waffle. Great to see you, my son. We'll catch up with you very soon. Legend, lad. Legend. You don't have a dart board, do you, Eddie? I've been getting bang into darts, lad. By the way, give us a subscribe on the gaming channel. It's pinned to the top of the chat. If you want to click the top of the chat, there's a link to the gaming channel, Flying Pig Gaming. Go follow us over there. I might do a dart stream tonight or a fc24 stream there's a stream coming tonight on that channel anyway so go over and subscribe to flying pig gaming for a 10 45 p.m stream garnacho should have stayed on man yeah let's be real urbano 100 percent urbano at least the cropper chopper did not win and can now pee off me chill you guys are going mad you could have lost man says damon's 40 vlogs look clearly damon you're if you've got a, some sort of i don't know like an iron deficiency or something you're a man city scummer for a start and you've got an off-center avatar you can't even you can't even be you know you can't even get your Man City badge centred in your bloody avatar picture, mate. You think your opinion matters around here? It means fuck all, bro. Damon, nobody gives a shit, man. Melissa says, I agree, pig. Don't like Onana, but he saved us. Uh, yes, Kambala was class. VAR, man of the match. Uh, why are you here, shitty scum? Exactly. Why are these shitty scummers here? Fuck me. Funny. Thank you, Funny3696, for the super chat there, my son. Appreciate you. He says, thoughts on getting Allegri after it tonight? Well, he's obviously a very good coach. I mean, I'll be honest, I don't watch Italian football anymore, but um, I know he's doing bits over there, and uh, I, I assume he's a you know a good coach, but I have to be honest, I obviously watched a bit in, the, in their run to the final last year in the Champions League and watched them a bit, but really, I don't really, you know, I don't really know too much. I'll just be honest, I don't really know too much about like his style of play. All I know is that he's doing bits in Serie A, but Serie A's not what it used to be. It's a different animal coming to the Premier League to do it, but he does seem, you know, decent. Getting sacked, big says. Uh, are we talking about Allegri? <laughs> Sorry, I totally missed. I totally, I totally read that as Inzaghi, lad. Sorry. <laughs> I totally read that as Inzaghi, bro. <laughs> Sorry, Allegri. Oh, fuck Allegri, mate. <laughs> fuck Allegri, bro. What? Allegri is washed. He shites his till me. Uh, if attacking player leaves his leg in deliberately, which can clearly be seen in the slow-mo, it should not be a penalty. Completely agree. Yellow card simulation. See you later on, Harvey Elliott. You're twat. Completely agree with you, boss. Um, right. Anyway. Guys. John, that's, a, that's the most random comment of the day, mate. Weird science was overrated. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, what's her face? Certainly wasn't overrated in it, was she? No. But anyway, guys, we're going to have to wrap this up now, guys. We're going to have to wrap this up. I've got, a, I've got to edit my post-match video now. So I've got to edit the post-match. I'm going to be busy for another hour here. Um, do us a favor. Come back in an hour when the post-match video is dropped. Click your bell icon for notifications there on the stream. And get your thoughts and opinions in about the uh, performance in the post-match video, guys, which is coming in about an hour. I've got to edit that together and I'll pop it on. Uh, what? Well, yeah. Um, oh, God. <laughs> Johnny Gallagher's food, mate. Get in there, football boy. Brownie, how are you doing today, my friend? Oh, man. What a gastastic game in the end. Anyway, guys, well, good for the neutral, I suppose. Right, we're going to have to wrap this stream up, guys. Everybody, thanks for being here. Smash the like on the stream. Hit the subscribe button before you go. Follow us at the top of the chat there, guys. Flying Pig Gaming. Follow Flying Pig Gaming if you're not subscribed to that channel. That's the gaming channel. I bet you there's loads of you legends who are not subscribed. So go over there and subscribe to Flying Pig Gaming. We'll be on there tonight at 10.45. Thank you, Darren. Thank you, Ezio. Cake Cadet, you legend. Brian. Gungshi, you legend. Let's go. Kelly LeBrock. Yes, indeed. That's the one light warrior. <laughs> nothing, nothing underrated about that, my son. Alex Kaur. Ruddy Can't Game, Kingslayer, Ishmael, Damon's Footy Blogs, Must Play, Jonathan Gallagher, Urbano. Actually, fuck that Damon guy, mate. <laughs> I'm just joking. Fair play to you, Damon, getting in here. Fair play to you. Um, <laughs> Urbano, Brandon, Daz, Yusuf, Chris, John Boy, Paul Story, Kate Cadet, Alex Kaur, Chris Koo, Urbano Valdez, Chris Koo, Damon, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Kenneth Kerner, thanks for the super chats, mate. Thank you to all the super chatters. Thank you to all the member gifters. Thank you to all the members for supporting the channel and being members. And thank you to everybody else for watching and everyone who smashed the like and all that. Thanks for supporting the channel, guys. I do really appreciate it. It does mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for doing that. Uh, sometimes when they're not on in the UK, Ishmael, lad. Yeah, but this is obviously on Sky Sports here in the UK. Nice one, Chris O'Hagan. Nick Pendragon as well, you legend. Stay classy. MT, superstar, all the, all, everybody. Good night. God bless. Piggy loves you. I will be back tonight, Cake Cadet, on the gaming channel, Flying Pig Gaming. Give us a follow at Flying Pig Gaming right there in the chat. Right there in the chat. Give us a follow, Flying Pig Gaming. Guys, see you in a bit. God bless you. Post-match reaction coming on in an hour. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, and Kick at Flying Pig United. Check out the website, flyingpigunited.com. Check out the gaming channel, Flying Pig Gaming, and I'll see you on the next one. Ah, you know, it could have been worse today, but it also could have been so much better. I think a weak mentality and a bottle job mind from the likes of 10 Argus cost us today getting the three points. And that's basically our Champions League hopes definitely over and done with now. We are shite. The season is guff. The season's a write-off. End this season now, and let's look to next season. Possibly Tommy. Don't know yet. It's supposed to be doing FIFA, but we'll see. Nice one, guys. Thank you, Ed's Music. I might play offline, though, yet. Uh, Connor, Darren, must play Chris, and everybody else as well. Thanks for being here. Much love to you, legends. And that's it for the show today. Thank you for joining us. Oh, man, that was a roller coaster of emotions. But thanks for tuning in, guys. We, we go again, I guess. We just need to dust ourselves off, put this season to bed, and go again next year. There you go. Goodbye. God bless. And I'll see you on the next one, folks. <laughs> and remember, Piggy loves you. And also remember, when the seagulls follow the trawler, as this is because they think sardines will be thrown into the sea. Thank you very much.